first one. All right, you guys, here we are. We're going to step up to the plate, I see. Yep. Game 58. 58. Thank you, James. You're welcome. It, it might be a little, it might be 59. I don't know. I Somewhere in here, I've got my order. I've got a number mixed up. So it's a 58 to 59th game. For okay, June we're starting year two of trivia. Supposed to be 57 last. last Something week. like that. Okay, so I wanted to make sure I gave you guys the, uh, uh, here's the website to my YouTube channel. And if you look at it, you'll see that there are past trivia um, videos on there. They got one, three, 11, 13 views, not very many, but they are a lot of fun to listen to in the background. It's just like being here again. And if you have given a category in the past, it's fun to be able to go back and listen to the discussion of your category because it records when I go into your room. So, so the room that you were in. So it's kind of fun to listen to your old video, your old thing again. So I, I just want to make sure everybody had, had a copy of that. Um, we have a couple other things that are coming up. We're going to do our normal thing today with everybody, but I wanted to show you the, uh, tell you that um, I'm working on a really fun project for my neighbor. I went next, went to her house a couple of days ago. She does some amazing, uh, some amazing old photography and photo uh, photographs that she has not um, looked at. And, and uh, some of these things haven't been viewed in a hundred years. And she gave me, we scanned everything yesterday. We spent, oh, like six or seven hours. So I'm gonna be putting up, I'm restoring the pictures. We scanned them last night, I'm restoring them. And I'm gonna put up a whole bunch of World War I photos that were taken by her great uncle. So they're never be seen before. In fact, these things haven't been seen since he mailed them home to his mom in 1918. So. I was looking for people to help me decide where it was, what it was of and stuff like that. But I'm, I'm almost finished with those and I'll have those on our, on our Facebook page soon. Mm -hmm. And uh, Gail said she needs the, the login again because her computer deleted her last. Mm. Oh, is Saunders not gonna be on tonight? I don't think so. I haven't heard from him. He's been really busy now that he's, you know, vaccinated. He's so to work. And he's been working a lot. He was busy on Tuesday. Well, there's, there's a problem. Okay, I'm just trying to send this link to Gail. My computer can, I, can I thank Alan? I'd like to thank Alan for suggesting the boat ride through Chicago. It was amazing. You go through the oh, streets. And that you was, um, somebody else just put that up. Uh, Jeff it Wagg was, just It was put really that up. good. Alan suggested it. We were in Chicago just for the day, and it was oh, worth doing. Was it probably cool too, huh? Yeah, they talked about all the architecture and how old the buildings were, and I then going like, on to Lake Michigan. Cool. Yeah. Look it's at Karen. Nice. We're, we're watching yeah, Karen no. drive. Look at Karen. Oh, we can see her just right through the screen. That is weird looking. Can we criticize her, critique her driving? <laughs> I don't think we can see it, but watch her. She's on like, the wheel. <laughs> that's funny. Hi, Mono. I can see both hands on the wheal, for sure. Use okay, those blenders, two, right? Ten and two, Karen, not just ten one ten. hand. And Nine here comes Isabella. Now. Here comes Gail. Okay, just before I'm about to put you in your rooms, I'm just waiting, stalling for a second before we do that. Okay, so let me create the rooms. We had such a good turnout last week. It was so much fun. I hope you guys enjoyed the, the game last week um, because it was just me. And I loved, 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 loved all that you guys wrote on that, on that uh, spreadsheet. If you haven't had a chance to read it or write on it, do it. It's, it's, it's so, I mean, I had, I had like a little tear. It was so cute. <laughs> it was neat. I and, you know, more than that, it was like, um, how do I say, just remembering it. I was going, oh, wow, I remember that. Oh, I remember that. Oh, wait, what? I remember that too. It was fun. Here comes Caspian. <laughs> I, will, uh, I will repost the link to that Google Doc. Even if you think you're not good at that sort of thing, even if you just add a word or two, Susan is obviously delighted by it. I so absolutely anything, was delighted by it. Anything you share is appreciated. It was, and it was so much fun to look back on it. You know me, you guys, I'm a social historian. So to me, that's just preserving any of these things. is just, just a blessing. 
to uh, be able to look back and some of the comments that were there and things that I had completely forgotten. And you guys keep track of what I say? That was weird. I just remember the gargoyle. <laughs> gargoyle. Not a gargoyle. A non gargoyle. The non, non, right. non not a gargoyle. Hello, sweetie. Okay, Hello. so let's see. Hey, uh, just a minute. By, remember last week, Susan had a question about the first book that was yeah. created that led to a lot of arguments. So there's a funny. Book. There was a funny sketch on Norwegian, a Norwegian comedy TV show that talks about problems that originated when the first sketch, uh, first book was produced. I'm putting the link in the chat. It's a short sketch, about two minutes. Some of you might find it amusing. I think I, I, think I know what sketch you're talking about. And if it is, then it's very funny. <laughs> it's called the Tech Support in the Middle Ages, but. Yes, that, that, <laughs> oh, is, yeah. that, that yeah. would be great. <laughs> that would be great. I'm just counting people to make sure we get everybody. And I will so a question came up last week, which was, what do people in England call a person with a PhD in chemistry? Yes. Because yes. we all assume that people that, that in Britain, they call pharmacists chemists. Right. So I, uh, I asked someone in the UK, and that assumption is incorrect. They call well, pharmacists pharmacists. Well, it wasn't in the UK. It was actually it was Australia. It was Australia. And so I, I, I checked in the, the, the UK because uh, we, we asked um, Richard Saunders last week and he said we call them chemists. And that was the same answer for England. It turns out that the name of the store is the chemist shop. Mm -hmm. So the place is the chemist, but the person ah. that fills out your um, your drug order is a pharmacist. So it's the equivalent of a drugstore. Right. So pharmacist works at the chemist. The, where they the pharmacist that's not, works well, at the right. chemist. We're going to have to ask Richard if he comes back if that's what he was meaning because it didn't sound like it. Yeah, but that, that was that was the answer for uh, for England. The UK, yeah. So there might be different. Well, it also could de depend on what part of England because remember, there's so many different accents in just London. It could yes. mean there's more than mm. one. Oh my God, you I'm, guys argue sure over everything. <laughs> Did you just figure that out? He just, I, he just gave you the answer and you're like, but it might not be the real yeah, answer. I, I, I do not know someone in every dialect area oh God, Karen. of, of uh, Great Britain. She's on our side. I couldn't answer. Oh, Karen, oh my God, Karen's cool. rolled her car. She, she's rolled her car over. <laughs> my mom says it's a laugh. My mom says it depends on the, on the part of England you're from. That, that's what it's called. The different, the different she's places. driving on two wheels. <laughs> how do they no. say it in, in, um, in Ireland? What do you call it in Ireland? A lot of people refer to up in Northern Ireland, the chemist. Or oh, up in Northern Ireland, they refer to it as the chemist or the pharmacist. What do they call the person who works as a chemist? What do you call someone that works as a chemist? The, the pharmacist we hear call them. Just the, the shop assistant? No, like the... the no, like someone, like it's like as a chemistry degree. They just... Um, like a degree in like chemistry. You mean the far the pharmacist? No, like someone has like literally like a degree in chemistry. Yeah, he doesn't have to work at the pharmacy. Probably doesn't. Like doesn't chemistry, work. chemistry. Like my son went. My son went to Mass Pharmacy College. A chemist, but he got a chemistry the same thing. degree. Uh -huh. Yeah, so, no, so that makes the, it even worse. The assumption that they call what we call a pharmacist a chemist turns out to be the mistake. Yeah. Okay, again, so I was talking about Richard Saunders talking about Australia. We don't know it's the same as the UK. <laughs> okay, so we're going to put... Hold on, Cass. I got gotcha. you. We're going into room two. Two and Karen, you are going into... Oh, I had it for you. Where is it? Next screen. Oh, it doesn't matter. Okay. So then we're going to put Karen. Paula's not sure. Oh, who am I waiting for? Oh, Karen. Oh, here's the. Uh... Susan. Susan, you have two people in this group who are doing categories. 
Oh, who do I have? There's two in here. Rob and James. Yes. Oh, James. Stop. Can you stop? Oh, sorry. James and Rob. Oh, okay. Thank you. No, it's Rob and James. Yeah, okay. I'll fix it. Ooh, watching Karen drive. Okay, let me see. So, we're going to fix... James has got to go to four. Ah, oh, so Rob needs to move to two. I'm going to drive by Susan's house on my way. <laughs> beep, beep. I'm going to put you over in five. Yeah, I got it. Oh, look at that. I recognize those homes. How funny to see it that way from that view. Beep, beep, somebody's home. Hey, Steve, I'm home. Adrian, you there? Are you back, Kevin? You guys are already back? Yep, we got a team name. Oh man. I'm do I'm I'm also um oh, trying to do something at the same time. Okay. Well, all right, that's that's interesting. I heard about oh, it. No, I got it already in the computer pod. What's the human? I'm gonna post it to your Facebook. Okay. No. Like private. Okay, private. Oh, okay. I think Jim Newman should convert to Judaism so that we can call him Nim Juman and not feel weird about it. He should work for what? No, I think we should, he should convert to Judaism so that we can call him Nim Juman without feeling weird about it. <laughs> Nim Juman. <laughs> Very happy. My um, land people uh, made uh, set up uh, a router in my apartment. So now that I, now I have um, or a, a wireless access point in my apartment directly wired to a router. So now I have much better internet. Well, that's going to be here. When are you coming? To, when are you going to move to uh, Europe? Um, in a little, uh, about a couple of weeks, less than a year. What part of Europe? Uh, Germany. I'm going to be, um, doing a postdoc in Mannheim for one year. Awesome. That's super exciting. Yes. Nice. How, how fun to be on an adventure like that. Mm -hmm. If only I was young and didn't have house payments and car, uh, cats and could travel like that and live somewhere else for a while. That is Someday when I grow up. I'm going to pause for a minute, you guys, so I will be right back. 
Oh, oh dear. <laughs> I got my blanket. Okay, here we go. You got your blanket? A blankie. Mm -hmm. I thought it was hot over there. No, it's it's not so bad. It, <laughs> I don't think it hit 80 degrees. Las Vegas it hit, today. Today. hit record high on It has been hot, but I'm inside and we don't have air conditioning or anything like that. I mean, that would be like freaky. Who ever heard of air conditioning in Monterey County? That's like... Uh, you might need it soon. 106 here in Sacramento. Oh, man, I wouldn't live in Sacramento. No way. No way, Jose. It's been abnormally cool. I was able to go for a walk around like 11 o'clock. Susan. Hey, look at this. Isabella. She just got out of... what? Who knows? The what? pool. Yeah, I was actually the ocean. in the pool. I was actually in the pool. I was... um. Yeah, I was, uh, I was kind of helping. Well, I technically wasn't supposed to be working today, but um, they had me help out the new lifeguard today. Oh, so. did you save any lives? No, but a kid pooped in the pool. <laughs> oh, God. It's not a good day if a kid doesn't poop in the there pool. There were like, it was just three pieces. It wasn't anything horrible. Oh, oh I thought you did. That's too weird. <laughs> no, it was one of the moms was like, thank God it wasn't anything else. But um, the, the pool was closed for like an hour and then we could go back in. But um, yeah, it was, I mean, it was okay. Um, Did Bill Murray come and clean out the pool? No, actually, that, when that happened, that, that's exactly what I thought of that movie. When they put in the, the candy bar in the pool, I was yeah. like, <laughs> it was like, Susan, yeah. because I was late, I don't know what order I'm doing today. Hi, Gail. You are not late. There is only three more late than you. Three. Is I'm it Peggy, one? Peggy, Rob, Gail, James, and then Isabella? You know you're doing bonus, right, Isabella? Yeah. Actually, the uh, the lifeguard he had to uh, pull out the poop, but he didn't really know what to, how to dispose of it properly. So What's that got to do with you doing the bonus camp? <laughs> I don't know. I'm kind of worried now. Okay. I, I got a feeling the uh, bonus category is going to be scatological in some way. Susan, yeah. that's <laughs> the most interesting thing that has happened to me all week. So, oh, wait. Okay. okay. Wait. I have a funny story before we start. I had a okay. kid in the pool this week. He stole his um, little sister's like stuffed, I think it was like a stuffed giraffe, took it into the pool and tore it open like with his hands and then started eating the stuffing inside the stuffed animal. <laughs> In the pool. Ew. How old was this kid? 13. Oh. I, oh. Not good. I think we should put him on a list to be observed. To yeah. Yeah. No, I was like, your mom just bought you a hamburger. Why are you eating was, stuffing? Was this 13 year old like developmentally challenged or something? I have no idea. No, he was like previously during the day, he was putting a bucket over his siblings head and like pushing them under the water. And then he was smacking them with these like water toys. Uh, and problem. I, I, I had to eventually issue. kick the kid out of the pool for the like for the whole day. Good. But um, mm. that was that was an I interesting mean. day. Yeah, sometimes when they say I never saw this happening. Oh, sorry, yeah, sometimes yeah, yeah. Right, right, right. I was kind of concerned for the parent. I mean, the parent, I think the parent had a few too many uh margaritas but maybe like <laughs> oh. not the time it had too many margaritas maybe there's a connection there yeah maybe. Well, i'm not saying which way it is <laughs> is the drinking causing the kid to be like that or are they drinking because <laughs> the kid's like that i don't know Here we go. Well, i think part of it is with covid the parents are just like so ready for a break <clears throat> that they checked out a little too much the other day oh. <laughs> yeah. all right so let's get our group names Group number one, which is Jeff, Julie, Kelly, Mono, and Peggy. Hello, hello, Julie, by the way. Uh, what are you guys going to be called today? I'm putting it in the chat. <laughs> Beetlejuice burps. Beetlejuice. Beetlejuice. Oh, that's Beetlejuice. Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. <laughs> I, I just can't spell it. Uh, Beetlejuice burps. All right. Beetlejuice burps. Shouldn't I I'll have say it three times? Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. Yeah. Beetlejuice. I didn't say it three times. Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. Oh, you're no, no, it's going to summon a star. Because the that, best one has to be on community if people are aware of that. 
in community, they had one of the characters saying Beetlejuice one time in each season, I think it was. And then so in season three, when, a, when one of the actors said it, you see through a window in the background, Beetlejuice walk by. So it's Whoa. like the longest wait for, yeah. Nice. So I thought that was pretty cool. <laughs> there were so many that's, cool little, that, oh, go ahead. No, that's how you pronounce the, I, I always wondered how you pronounce that. Well, uh, that's I, I most certainly Beetle. not the way you pronounce it, but it's the way everyone does. Yeah, I've heard Beetlejuice and I've heard Betelgeist. Yeah. All mm -hmm. right, room number two, which shall forever, forever today be known as a new name is Adrian, Caspian, Janine, Carl, and Rob. We are really good heads for trivia. <laughs> That's good. Really good heads for trivia. Why don't you say what you think? <laughs> How are you feeling, Adrian? Good today, thank you. Yay. I just listened to a Skeptoid where they were talking about body transfers or head transfers, transplants. I'd like that. So that was that was interesting because <laughs> it was called head transplants, but he says actually it's a body transplant. Yeah. Well actually I need a new head. No. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't work that way. Oh. No, it doesn't work like that at all. Okay, so room number three, 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 room, 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 Ben, Deborah, Gil, Jim, and Wilma. Who are you? What shall we call you tonight? Biden's Kiata? <laughs> Bindens? Is that Bindens? Oh, yeah. Oh, sorry. I, spell, I had a typo. No, it's right. Put one too no, many in now. It. You can't. No, take that's that. it now. Oh it's man, it's it. No, I think you did it right. That's the Biden party did it wrong. Yeah. Oh, I, 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 oh, I, I, oh my That's my bad. Biden's Kiata? What is that? I think it's supposed to be cicada. Yes, <laughs> but, but we spelled it. Spelling of cicada. Yeah, it was a Q. Oh, it, that's true. Look, look at that Q as if it was a capital Q. Okay. Then tell them, why, tell them where it comes from because they. What does that mean? Um, it's from the cicada that landed on Biden, and all the QAnon people are. Oh. Um, oh what landed on him? I yeah. thought it was just yeah. a plane. Yeah. yeah. They're they're thinking that it was you know, he was sending him secret messages. Oh God. Because because uh, Q oh, is the seventeenth letter of the alphabet, and cicadas come every. Just Jake 17 years. years well, and, see, oh, the thing well, is, except for the ones both, that don't. Right, both, exactly. Both Biden and the cicada were magnetized. Right, mm. there you go. That's right. <laughs> they attached. All right, room number four, 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 four. Kevin, Avi, Faith, Romero, Bob, and James. Who are you tonight? Who will you be better playing living, as? Better living through charmistry. Better living through charmistry. Or, that, or karmistry, depending on... Is that on a thing? It is now. Better yeah. living through charmistry. Okay. Or, or karmistry, depending if you want to... Or I'm sure I'll find a creative way of saying it. Is that a real word? No. It's In the United word. States of Britain, Australia, it is. <laughs> 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 and last but not least, room number five, which is Alan, Isabella, Leonard, and Mike. Hmm? There's some down. Beyond. No name. They're just they're silent. They're doing the teller. Oh, thing. Mike, do you have it there? All right, three men and Karen and a baby. Question mark <laughs> with a question mark with a question mark. I thought what it was three men and Karen's baby. My cat is upset. He didn't like it. So what did you do to Hamilton? It's Hamilton. See, look. There's, there's Hi, Hamilton. Hi, Hamilton. <laughs> Where's the cream colored tick? <laughs> She's not, she doesn't usually hang out here. Three men and Karen's baby. Oh, he's typing them. Don't do that, honey. I don't know. Okay. Three men and Karen's baby. Why, is Imogen? Why does Karen have a baby now? I didn't know she had a baby. No, wait, it's. It's me. You're the baby. So, so bef yeah. before Karen joined to highlight the difference in age, <laughs> it was three men and a baby. But then Karen arrived, so we had to 
Jeez, Karen. Jeez, Karen. All right. Don't ruin but, everything. And Susan, we got a we got a view of your the outside of your house. Even. Yeah, isn't that nice? Yes. Karen Karen drove by and did a drive by. Did it? <laughs> she really did. Close. It's on the video. She did a drive by. She did a drive by. So fatal juice burps against really good heads for trivia against Biden cicada cicada against better living through charmistry against three men and Carrie's baby. So this should be interesting. Who will be the winner at the moment? You're all on equal footing. One and only one of you. Well, maybe two of you because we've never figured out if we need to do a tiebreaker or not. One or more of you will be the champion, and you will have bragging rights on on forever more for the game one after the year. And this is year two, so you're number one of year two. And we think it's game fifty eight, but we're not sure. It might be fifty nine because I think I'm off one <laughs> somewhere in my dream thing. So I'm still hot from the high from last week. Mm -hmm. I'm still on the high from last week. <laughs> that was a good game. It really was. All right. So here we go. Peggy, 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 where are you? There you are. Okay. Susan, here. you can start I labeling the games like they label, you know, episodes. So this would be season two, episode one. Right? Oh, I like season that. Two, I like it. Season two, episode one. Oh, here comes Robin. And, or or uh, if you're Terry, in the UK, it would be series two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And isn't Peggy, and is that your friend? Is it Terry? Uh, Tracy. Tracy, she's around. She's hovering. T R A C E Y. I'm gonna start including. No, her. no E. Just Tra Tracy. T R A C Y. I'm gonna. She, she might as well just be here. Yeah. Okay. Put her on the team. She's she's now a, a burp oh, for this. <laughs> she says she's busy. Uh, see, yeah. She'll yeah. hear it. She's gonna wanna, you know. Okay. Put her on the team. Well, she's on your team. Yeah. <laughs> But I don't think she's going to participate because I, I only have this one computer and I need it when I'm given the thing. No, but she you know can yell I mean? out answers whenever it's not your turn. Right. Okay. So we are ready to start. So Peggy, why don't you announce your topic? And then one of our amazing silencers yeah. will, will silence our team, our, the rest of us. So who do we want to do it? So go ahead and tell us what are we going to be discussing in round one? <laughs> Well, we have a, a dog bone for the liberal arts majors and we're doing American playwrights. All right, muting everybody in three, two, one. And then you'll have to unmute yourself. I just said that and you didn't hear me because I hadn't done it yet. <laughs> okay, so. Um, the idea here is I'm going to give you the name of a play, the title of the play, and you give me the um, who wrote it. So number one, and I will put them in the chat when I finally figure out that. It's been a while since I used this computer. Number one is American Buffalo. Going back, putting it in the chat. Paste and enter. Number two is Long Day's Journey Into Night. Sorry, I'm getting a little sh slow here on the copying. And that one, number three is Who's Afraid of Virginia Woolf? Copy, paste. Peggy, can you repeat the name of the category? Yes, in fact, I can, um, the name of the category is American Playwrights. Got it, thank you. So we're just looking for the name of the person who wrote it. I, I, I like this category only because it's gonna go really fast, I think, if I can just perfect my copying and pasting. Copy. Number four is the little foxes. Number five is true west. Number six 
Number six is a raisin in the sun. which just last night was on Turner Classic Movies. And most of these, all of these, I think, have been turned into film. So they're not just plays. You could have seen them without having to go to the theater. Number seven is Fences. Number eight is A Streetcar Named Desire. Number nine is the Vagina Monologues. And not wanting to copy that. Could be the bad word, huh? All right. Go back to Zoom. Just type out the VJJ Monologues. Yep. <laughs> I'm just having a hard time getting back. Oh, there we are. My Zoom disappeared. Okay, there you go. Number 10 is Death of a Salesman. Copy, Zoom here, paste. So American playwrights just need the name of the person who wrote that play. Do we get points for having heard of the play? Well, that's up. To, that would be up to Susan, I think. But uh, the category kind of requires you to know who wrote it. I think it's very straightforward, it? Peggy. I think I think it's very. It's a yeah. It's kind of like super easy. It's not clever. It's just taking your brain to a new direction. A lot of it. scientists don't take very. Often. It'll be just fine. All right, here we go. Go to your rooms, play nice. You don't have to wear a mask anymore. If you're in California, you're fully vaccinated. But anybody else, you kind of have to. So we need to sign. Karen is going to be on. She is on the last team there. Five. Oh, and look, there's Robin. Hi, Robin. And Robin, we're going to put you right. One, two, three, four. Right there. Okay, there you go. Just to confuse things. You're talking, Peggy, nobody's hearing you. I'm talking to my friend, Tracy. Okay, all right, <laughs> just check in with you. So I'm gonna go to your room. Everybody else, Julie and Jeff, you're okay? Bob, you're okay? All right, I'm going to go and see. Uh, uh, I teach in a special ed school. Oh, okay. Yeah. Ah, hi, Susan. Join the so All I right. know one of these and I've seen several or read several of these, but I can't remember. I only know the Tennessee um, streetcar named Desire was Tennessee. Tennessee um, so shall we go through American Buffalo? Does anyone know? Never heard of it. I know. Long Day's Journey into Night, I think is Eugene O'Neill. Mm. Who's Afraid of Virginia Woolf is Edward Albee. I've read that. That is, a, that is an amazing, amazing yeah. story but I didn't know who the author was. Edward Albee. Yeah. Actually, I attended a talk where he talked about the play. And it's, uh, it's horrible. I mean, what a what a look at American history. Yeah. Little Foxes, I've heard of the play, but I don't know who it is. Yeah. Albee, by the way, is A-L-B-E-E. -E. Okay. True West, I don't know. A Raisin in the Sun is Lauren Hansberry, right? No idea. Lauren Hansberry, it's, it, yeah, it's Lauren Hansberry, or oh, very close to that. I'm not sure how close. Hansberry, H A N S. Oh, Barry, Barry. Oh, I see P U R Y. H A N S, H A N S. Oh, Hansberry. H E N. All the foods. H A N. 
Oh, wait, mm -hmm. I'm not gonna be able to spell it. Never heard of. Yeah, it. luckily they don't grade us on spelling. <laughs> Barry, that's right. I, okay. I think her first name was Lauren. A very sad story. She died very young at the age of thirty after producing. Fences is August Wilson. Never heard of it. Oh, I've seen the play. It's a great play. I think they made a movie out of it with um, Denzel Williams. Streetcar Named Desire is Tennessee Williams. Williams, that's it. Vagina monologues, I don't know the author. That is, um, if somebody not, said it, I'd probably know it. My roommate might know, so I can run down and ask her. Um, Death of a Salesman is Arthur Miller, right? Arthur Miller, yeah. All right, I'll that's right. About the vagina monologue. Death of a Salesman is another sad one. Yeah. Vagina monologues, yeah, and, and Little Foxes. Ah, the name is on the tip of my tongue. I don't even remember what it's about. I, I've never seen it. Boy, I'm gonna have to take this list and go look at these because. Yeah, I I haven't heard of. Raising in the Sun was made. I, like I've heard of a bunch of them, but I didn't know the playwrights. Yeah, it, all of these, as she says, are filmed. Raising in the Sun stars Sidney Poitier. It's a very good film. Uh, Who's Afraid of Virginia Woolf, made with Elizabeth Taylor and Richard Burton. Very good film. Streetcar Named Desire also had uh, Elizabeth Taylor. Uh, no, uh, that was Marlon Brando. Not, that was not Liz Taylor, Streetcar. It was Marlon Where's Brando. It? No, uh, it was not definitely not Elizabeth Taylor. I'm trying to think who the two women leads were. Bla the one who plays Blanche. The famous actress. God, what a memory you have. My goodness, you remember their names. <laughs> well, Street Car Named Desire is, you know, kind of iconic, right? So many. It's a great play. I haven't seen it. Yeah, I, I, I've i almost forgotten it, though. Death of a Salesman is really sad. Yeah. Uh, I would I would avoid uh, Who's Afraid of Virginia Woolf. It's just too, too intense. It's tense. It's... Uh, it's a great play, but it is very tense. It's, and it's a good it's a good play for discussing in a group, I guess. But I I think it just to talk so, about uh, harsh. Talk about you know you don't need you don't need blowing up things and intrigue and spies. That no. is just now Jeff and Julia are going. We got to watch this. So in that talk that I attended, there'll be one main person in the audience asked how he came up with that title because Virginia Woolf, I mean, it's, it's really a pun, right? Who's afraid of the big bad wolf? He just put Virginia Woolf. And he said he saw it as a piece of graffiti on a wall <gasps> in New York City. Somebody had written Who's Afraid of Virginia Woolf? And he just took it as the title of his play. Oh, that's very good. <laughs> Kelly, did you come up with an answer? No, sorry. My roommate didn't know. Okay, has anybody ever heard of American Buffalo? Yeah, I think I've heard of the film. Uh, but I can't. Little Foxes, I... True West, the Virginia Monologues. You know, Virginia Monologues, I, I want to say. Vagina I haven't seen it. <laughs> it's Vagina, Vagina Monologues, not Virginia Monologues. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's the other one. Uh, <laughs> an occasion to yell vagina. <laughs> hmm. Sorry, I'm like packing for a trip during trivia today because I'm going up to my parents tomorrow. Oh, fun. I bet your parents would know all these. Probably. Not, not all of them. I think we'd probably be right about where we're at, even if my parents were here. So I have no idea of American Buffalo and True West, but I, I'm. Can we think of any famous playwrights that are also in this that would have been in like uh, the uh, Turner Turner thing? Okay, well, I got to sign Bob here real quick. He's the Little Foxes. I think it was a woman who wrote that. Who could it be? So who's some more playwrights? Um, Steinbeck, no. Um, there's a man of these are Steinbeck. Um, I'm thinking of playwrights. Yeah. No, I'm afraid I've exhausted my 
knowledge. Yeah, sorry, it's pretty useless. We're gonna, I know we know the vagina monologues. That's a that's a that's a very famous recent yeah. dish. Yeah. What was the little foxes about? Was it about Badil? I can't remember. I haven't seen the play. I've just heard of it. I've never heard of it. There you go, Kelly. That might be the entire, you were looking for suggestions to read. There you go, there, there they are. Uh, they're all really well, I mean, I'm sure they're amazing. Streetcar Named Desire was really incredible. So was, yeah. um, well, the others were like I said, but they're kind of harsh. Here comes Peggy. We're, we're done, I think, Peggy. We are at our, Mono knew what everything that he knows, and that's it. Oh, I'm going to make a list, and I'm going to check these out, because I can't remember some of these. These are definitely to be rewatched or reread, except for Who's Afraid of Virginia Woolf. Why not? It's, it's so ugly. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's just so awful. I mean, it's not awful. It's written, well written. It's terrific, but it's just hard to. It's hard to watch two people lacerating each other so viciously for two hours. Right. And, and now a young couple games. watching him do it. And we're playing mind games with this young couple who are observing them and not knowing what the hell is going on between the two of them. Right. How is everybody else doing, Peggy? Well, um, they need a little more time. I'm going to go to another room and see how we're doing. Okay. I think I they think... hate me a lot. They hate me a whole lot. No, no, no. I don't think so. Well, that's so. good. That's good. That means that we're, you know, maybe we'll... Bust Challenging the, brains. Or, you know. That means that in a week or two, people will come back and say, you know what? I, I loved Raising the Sun. I didn't know how... That was amazing. Thank you for suggesting it, Peggy. I, I'm, I don't think more time is going to help us, right? So I think oh, we are. Okay. What is Fences? Mana, what was Fences? I don't remember that. Fences is about uh, August Wilson. It's about a black family and it's the dynamic between the father and the son. And uh, I think the son try, is rebelling. It's, it's working class neighborhood. And it's the Fences, I think, is a metaphorical Fences, like the father trying to constrain the son's ambitions. And the son rebelling against it. What era? Oh, he's it's modern. I mean, modern in the sense it took place, I think, during the civil rights era. August Wilson. It's about it took place in the sixties and seventies. The setting was the sixties and seventies. Okay, well, I guess we're done. Well, I don't want to call people back, but because Peggy's not here. Where is she at? American Buffalo. Never I, heard of it. That there's a film. I, I've heard of the film, but I haven't seen it. I, it must be. I'm wondering if it's some sort of Western playwright. Well, the only thing I can think of is if we could think of other. Oh, let me ask Mark. He's right here. Mark, are you here? Mark? Maybe he'll know. Yeah, oh, cool. So Mark, the category is American playwrights. Yeah. So if I name these uh, American Buffalo, you've ever heard of it? That's Tom Stoppard, I think. Did you hear, did you hear him? Yeah, Tom Stoppard. He's a British playwright, but it could be. Um, how I'm about not the, sure of any. How about so. the Little Foxes? Ooh. Don't know that one. True West. No. The virg virgin the vagina monologues. No, I'm sorry. I'm not okay, sure. that's the only ones we didn't have. But I think the thing is the category was American playwrights and Tom Stoppard, mm -hmm. British. No idea. Well unless you want to take and put and put Arthur Miller and put him on all the other. The blank ones. is worth the same. So <laughs> well Arthur Miller is a very famous playwright, married to Mar Marilyn Monroe for a while. You can put yeah. him on everything else and maybe she duplicated it. <laughs> Okay. Leave I know. Me.
I got my postcards yeah, I, got I mailed myself from the weekend. All right. All I of was it. there. I have evidence, even the postmarks on the back. Do they say wish you were here? No. <laughs> I, talk, I always I always send myself postcards and I send other people postcards that usually are like I wish they would get out and go do something more so like sit on a picnic table in Jackson California right I postcards. did that I sure did they watched me write these I watched her write all of them she used my I, pen even. <laughs> I used her pen these are these are made with her pen but I talk about like what's going on and you know that kind of stuff and then I it's like a little I worked at a summer camp one year where the kids are required to send a postcard home at least every one every week to their family and they used to just send them to each other this is <laughs> the go into town and go into Plymouth and buy a bunch of postcards with the Mayflower on it and then they uh -huh. get them all in the mail the following week <laughs> what camp was that it was Camp Timberlane Cedarwood in Plymouth Mass that's okay. Balls. Um, okay, right. here we go. So Peggy, that was a straightforward, quick. You either know them or you don't. Yeah, motto was awesome in our group. Yeah, there, some saying. people just see more plays, I guess. Um, so I'm not muted anymore. Good, I'm confused. So uh, okay, American Buffalo. Some of you got so close, it was so fun to listen to. Yeah, you know, a lot of fucks and stuff were in the play. That's David Mamet. Uh, number two, Long Day's Journey into Night is Eugene O'Neill. Who uh, right, certainly. Yeah. May, may be one of the greatest playwrights America's ever produced, but um, number three is um, Who's Afraid of Virginia Woolf is Edward Albee. Yes. A discussion about, about the, Who's Afraid of Virginia Woolf and what a painful two and a half hours it is but um yeah some people loved it and uh okay number four is the little foxes this is a great betty davis movie and if you haven't seen it you should but it, it's just an intense intense picture and play and that was written by lillian hellman um true west is a more modern play true west was written by sam shepherd Sam Shepard was, uh, you know, in the right stuff, but he also had a great playwriting career. Huh. Huh. Um, I know that. Raisin in the Sun, A Raisin in the Sun, was written by Lorraine Hansberry. That's a great play. Um, Fences was written by August Wilson. What was Lorraine, what was her last name? Hansberry, H-A-N-S-B-E-R-R-Y, and I will put that in the chat okay. in a minute. And then August... Um, August Wilson. I apparently put the African American playwrights in a little ghetto right there. Um, so, and then uh, what's next? What's next? Streetcar. Streetcar. Streetcar is Tennessee Williams. And some of you thought Truman Capote, and I was so delighted by that because it's like two very gay, very Southern guys. So, um, oh, Truman Capote was gay? Oh, yeah. Well, that's, you know, it could be just a vicious rumor, but mm -hmm. um, Vagina mon Monologues was Eve Ensler. Somebody oh, got that. I would never have come up with that. I can't believe come up with that. And Death of a Salesman, another wrenching and gripping night at the theater was written by Arthur Miller, who was described in one group as, oh no, was described by my friend Tracy as, no, somebody in a group said, you know, the guy that was married to Marilyn Monroe. I said that in my group. Oh yeah, God, that that's funny. One of the guys who was married to so did we that came up in our room as well Such a our, I, I also refer to sam shepherd as the guy who was married to uh um michelle Sorry. pfeiffer no no that was that was some other guy jessica lang jessica lang but i don't think they ever got married did they no. they lived in sin they didn't get married they lived in sin for years and years <gasps> good for them <laughs> <laughs> me too yeah so um, there's very, there's very the name um if, let's if, see all right for, let's, go with our, for, let's go with our points really good peggy that gave me a list of things i need to watch and read for lillian hellman if you're on the west coast shouldn't it be lillian best foods <laughs> I, I, I always I'll prefer Lillian Miracle Whip Lillian anyway. Best you oh, see, yeah. Joe DiMaggio was a playwright? No. 
<laughs> Another opposite for her. All right, so Beetlejuice burps. Six. Good point. Really good heads for trivia. Three. Cas <gasps> Caspian got three. <laughs> oh, I got three. Uh, that's that's true. Carl was a little bit of a help there. Yeah, said he got two. Biden's cicadas. Nine. Oh, oh thanks wow. to Jim. Oh, yeah. Ooh, Newman. 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 It's, it's Blair, Newman. Showed up just in time. Newman. I right. once directed Edward Albee in a show. Whoa. Oh, wow. Fancy. Wow. Better that, living through the right? Oh, six. Well, three men and Karen's baby, maybe. Uh, nine. Whoa, who had that? Isabella. No. Who's Isabella kind of doesn't know all the right? Does she? Good luck. Um, wow. And if we could change our I name, got three. it would be only new three, Robin's right? baby, but we can't change our name, I guess. It'd be confusing. The people in charge would just not know what to do with themselves. We were discussing changing our team name now. Yeah. <laughs> what? Anything, anything, but, anything about what we said. Three. <laughs> Let me get these on here. Okay, so great job, Peggy. You got a nice average score. That's exactly what you're looking for. You want to you average at about um, seven, six or seven. So you're at nine, nine. Uh, three, six. So you know, so we helped. I think you yeah, helped in that way. Is that a seven or eight, you guys? And quite average. a spread. Six, three, nine, nine, and six. Somebody doing the math? No. Eight, Okay, good job. All right, Rob, there you are. We know it's gonna be science fiction because his background is obvious. Yeah, so this might wait, have- wait, wait. Hey, hold on, hold on. What are you guys doing? <laughs> is it Hamilton? Is Hamilton being bad? Maybe. He's probably got a bird. So for Dave, those that were asking, uh, there is a there is a Facebook group called Charmistry. Oh. Yeah, I just clicked on your link. Apparently, the person has a master's in aromatherapy. Clearly, oh. I'm in impressive. There's a Facebook group called what? Charmistry, oh, as in better li Charmistry. living through Charmistry. Got it. There's no raccoons. It was Hamilton attacked it. Hamilton. <laughs> it was Hamilton. Thought it might be just fighting. We couldn't figure out what room they were in. We could hear them, but we could. Must have been fighting with Aaron Burr. Oh my goodness! Uh -huh. If it's nighttime, I think it was a raccoon. Okay. Did ready? you have to say what his category was? Sorry. Are we ready? No, you weren't yeah, there. Yeah. So uh, I was actually toying with the idea of just giving you the nine. Uh, clues, and then the last one would be the category to see if you could figure it out, but I won't do that. It is science fiction planets. Whoa, how could we ever have guessed that? Because clearly what's behind me is just space art uh, of nothing that we know about. So, everybody in three, two. Here we go. Okay, so. Here's the deal, putting it in the chat. I'll give you a selection of planets from popular fictional universe. Give me the name of the associated franchise, might be multimedia, book series, etc. Okay, here's an example, just so you're clear on this. If I say, Vespin, Corellia, Coruscant, Mandalore, Tatooine, the answer is, everyone better know this because this is so easy I didn't use it, Star Wars. Okay. Number one. The planets are Abydos, Arcadia, Eye of Orion, Hell, Midnight, Trenzalor, and Woman Wept. 
Number two. This one, I'm going to give you 12. And that's kind of a clue. <sighs> Aralon, Aquaria, Canceron, Caprica, Geminon, Leonis, Libran, Picon, Sagittarion, Scorpia, Tauron, and Virgon. Question number three. Aboreus Prime, Kalon 1, Moklis, Pollux 5, and Zelaya. I think that's how you pronounce the X one. Number four. Ariel, Beaumont, Belarfron, Haven, Zhangjin, Miranda, and Persephone. I may not have pronounced it all properly. Yeah, Bellerophon. Thank you. Next one, Arrakis, Caledon, Chusak, Corin, Gady Prime, Naraj, and Palma. Sounds like, like my last name. Question six. Arcturus, Aurora, Gaia, Neo Trantor, Terminus, Trantor, Smyrno, and Solaria. All of these are in alphabetical order, if you haven't noticed that, by the way. Just a little my OCD. Number seven, Babel, Bejor, Beta Z, Organia, Praxis, Quonos, Ramus, Ryza, and Talax. Number eight, Berhurt, Ego, Morag, Sovereign, and Xander. Question nine. Divine Wind, Formic Homeworld, Lusitania, Pacifica, and Shakespeare. Yes, that's Shakespeare, the playwright. <laughs> what comes around goes around. And finally, Jevelyn, Minerva, Thorian, and Utan. Any questions? Yeah, what are these things? <laughs> Good job, Rob. Another category we should be able to get through pretty quickly because you either know these or you don't. <laughs> I like that kind of thing, and in, in mm -hmm. some cases to keep the game on, keep the game on track. Right. Right. Good, Good luck, are everybody. These, are you looking for just the entire franchise? So if it's like yeah. a series of books, it's not going to be just one book. That, one that's what book. I said at the beginning. Didn't okay, I say that? All right. Yeah, yeah. Thanks. There's a franchise. Yeah. So like uh, for Best Ben Corellia, Coruscant, it would be Star Wars, not like Episode Five or you know. All right. Yeah. I'm yeah. with okay. you, Mono. Uh oh. Okay. Here we go. Good luck. Good job, everybody. Good luck. Check out. So, so can I say the one I know? Because before Caspian gets to it, which is Dune. <laughs> and of course, the Star Trek one. Dune is number four, five. Correct. All right, I'm, I'm not going to stay here, but make me proud, people. I'm going to another room. <laughs> <laughs> and then Star Trek is obviously number seven. But that's it. That's all I got. So I number like one, I, I believe, is Doctor Who. Yes, it is. Number two is Battlestar, Battlestar Galactica. Yes, it is. Don't know number three. Uh, I think three. But it's it seems vaguely familiar. Mm. Yeah, let me think prime. on that. Something prime. No, there are lots of primes. Yeah, there's lots of primes. Eight on one. I might, is it I an might Asmov? Three if I think about it. Is it one of bit. the Asmovs? Asmov is number six. That's foundation. Yeah, well, I guess it's Asmov kind of in general, in a way. That's but. why I recognized it. Yeah. Um, uh, three, I think, is the Orville. Maybe. What is it? The Orville. Never heard of it. 
very good science fiction show. Okay, four. Firefly. Mm. Oh, you're right. Really, I don't, I don't recognize it. What was the it planet that was the uh, the one with the the very end planet where? Miranda is where all the reavers come from. And that's oh, that is on there. Okay, Miranda. Right. That's definitely it. Dune, Asmov, Star Trek, in number eight. Is the Marvel Cinematic Universe? Yep, that's what I have. <sighs> number nine. nine is Ender's Game. Yep. Really. I got number ten. Formic Homeworld. Yeah, Lu uh, Lusitania. That's right. I don't yeah. recognize it. Oh, Shakespeare. I don't remember there being Shakespeare. Well, it was actually named Marlowe, but nobody wants you to. <laughs> I don't recognize these Formic Homeworld. Uh, well, it's funny I, I think they're I... all from the sequels, other than yes. the Formic Homeworld. That's right. And I was unable to get through most of those. Um, I don't know number ten. Yeah. Some craziness. I need to start putting my sci-fi books like right in front of me so I can glance over at the titles to give myself some ideas. I moved them somewhere. I can't remember. Crazy, crazy bird noise going on there. All my fiction is in the other room. Um, you recognize these titles? Is there something we might be missing that would be an obvious? These are planet titles. Do you know what series? Uh, let me think. Like we've planet. got Doctor Who and Ender's Game series and stuff like that. No. You don't recognize them? No. Okay, thanks. I've never left. <laughs> well, the last one's really the only one we don't have a name for. Javelin, Minerva, Minerva. Hmm. The only others, but I don't remember the names of the series, the Discworld series. I don't remember the names of the planets. Red Dwarf. No, I don't think so. Yeah, it'd be a lot more than four. Mm. I don't think Red Dwarf typically named its planets. Not I'm sure there's planet names, but they called them things like um, Wax World. Well, yeah. <laughs> Backwards World. Backwards World. <laughs> yeah, that wouldn't count. Um, that would be a little obvious. Yeah. Um, My guess is 10 is something I've never heard of. It's not Blake 7, is it? No, I don't think so. I don't remember any not. planets from Blake 7. Well, I mean, I know there were some. We could put that if we don't have anything else because. Uh, if it was Blake 7, Gouda Prime would be on there. Unless he took it off because he thought it'd be too obvious. I, I, I am skeptical that anything about Blake 7 would be considered. Out of Prime, Auron, Destiny. There's all sorts of planets. Janine, it must be beautiful uh, weather up there for you. Look at you outside on the. It's hot. The chickens. I like the chickens. It's hot. Beautiful. That's I've been on this. I've been out here on her deck many times. I spent the night on her deck once. Hmm. I'm sleeping out here all the time now. I wouldn't be surprised. It's not raining. She's got big, it's a huge deck, you guys, and it's got, um, she's got all these places you could, like, uh, beds, not beds, what would you say, just like, loungers? Uh, I have yeah. sofas and swings and tables. It is definitely a hangout and place. It is eating and very hangouty. Yeah, was designed to hang out on. Is that Trask behind you? No, that's Jasper. Oh, yeah. Hey, Jasper. Jasper, you're being talked to. 
yeah, Spray, do you want to go for a walk? Let's go play ball. <laughs> want to go play ball out in the field? Jasper has no interest in playing ball. Jasper would like to chase something. Oh, Trask, but Trask, you could say ball and Trask would be in the computer. <laughs> Jasper has no interest. It's funny that, isn't it? Because Jewel, our dog, has no interest in balls either. But we have two resident squirrels. And oh. we have a seed for our bird feeder just outside of our do door. And I didn't know that the squirrel was trying to get in. And we opened the door for the dog to go out. And she just. We're talking about squirrels. So I, I assume you're done. Well, almost. We, we know the nine we know, and we don't know the one we don't know. Okay, you're ahead of most of the other people, um, <laughs> which is good. Okay. <laughs> you're excited, huh, Rob? <laughs> I'm just trying to think, of, I'm, at least I'm trying to think just of the one sci-fi that I, I've heard of that I don't know any planets at all, and that way maybe that'll be the one we could. Mm. No. Mm. I actually heard a group talk themselves out of one. It was like sad. It's like, oh. <laughs> That's okay. So funny. <laughs> we'll take it. <laughs> um, we need all the help we can get. <laughs> well, let's see. Uh, there's Heinlein and Clark, but mm. I don't know that they were particularly known for long series. I was going to say Heinlein is more in individual books. Right. Um, 2001, yeah. they just named the play planets we already know, Jupiter and stuff. Yeah, there's, there's 2001 right. doesn't have any uh, unknown planets. Right. Um, how about, uh, oh, how about L. Ron Hubbard? Did oh, he have stuff. other planets? Earth? Oh. Well, he, he, he was a science fiction writer, so maybe yeah. Yeah. I could see Rob sneaking in L. Ron Hubbard to be sneaky. I've never read anything he's read. Dianetics? Oh. <laughs> Dianetics? <laughs> well, he had, he really had planets. He, yeah, I mean, that's just did. like Rob who would do that. In fact, in fact, in GSOW a couple days ago, Rob put a post up saying, why is uh, uh, David Miscavige's father right, he not did. got a Wikipedia page because he was looking into Scientology for some reason. So if we don't come up with anything, don't come up with I wouldn't anything. be surprised if that is... Put Dianetics? Or no, L. Ron Hubbard. Just L. Ron Hubbard. Just L. Ron Hubbard. His franchise, whatever. That's a good, I don't that's think he a has a one. franchise, though. Well, he has a bunch of unrelated books. The L. Ron Hubbard Cinematic Universe. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> there you go. I bet nobody else comes up with it because I bet. In, nobody in else other words, Battlefield it. Earth. How about but Heilman? He, isn't he the one that wrote uh, The Mars? Um, Heilman? Heilman? Yeah, I what was it? The one he wrote about Mars. It was called the Mars something. The Martian Chronicles. Yeah, yeah, he's the one that wrote that, right? Mm, I can't. I thought remember it was Bradbury. Sure. Yeah, oh. Bradbury wrote the Martian Chronicles. Yeah. Oh yeah, you're right. And I don't think Bradbury. Bradbury. I don't think Bradbury. Yeah. <laughs> I'm more likely to think it's Hel Hubbard. <laughs> Okay, I'm back in my room. I'm going to send the notice out. How do you do that? Uh, well, just okay. if you think everybody's mostly done. Yeah, 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 I checked around. Okay, close all rooms. Close, close, all. close all rooms, yes. Do, do what I said, you guys, for number 10. If, if, if you think, I, because I can't. I did with that. Yep. I, I think it's a good one. I, I, it's, what was, it's, it's Rob's personality. Do I, I, don't, I don't like that one. You have something better? I'm trying to think of something. You have 42 seconds. Yeah, I know. What was five? Five mm -hmm. is Firefly. What? Oh, no, I got, no, 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 no. Five is Dune. Dune. Four is Firefly. Four is Firefly, yeah. What about Ring World? Never saw it. You wouldn't. It's never been filmed. I'll write that in. Better than Elrond. You think? Elrond doesn't have enough doesn't have a franchise well there's only four here so he could have just had them all in one book well we're fixed we're done you gave oh look at that this yeah. is the oh look at that all right
several people who have seen it in my background have asked me if it's cannabis. <laughs> <laughs> so, it's the other kind of uh, drug. It's, 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 it's it needs a bigger pot. It needs a bigger it's, pot. It's getting it's, stunted already. Yeah, you need to put it in the ground, really. Yeah, put it in the ground quickly. It's the longest I've ever kept a plant living. <laughs> Put it in the oh, ground and water it every day. And I've got, all the, I've got dippers off. in the ground too. And they're trim all off. the bottom branches off up to about eight inches and stick also, all of the also. stem in the ground too. So yep. dig a deep hole. Yeah. And water it's not going to, it's not also not going to set any fruit or get yeah. pollinated if you keep it indoors. It has to go outside. Susan, Susan had a barbecue and Deborah gave me yeah, a barbecue. Which one did so you get? Susan, Susan, when's your next party? Uh, I guess I better throw one, huh? I guess I better pick some. Yeah. We just came back from we just came back from a weekend out. So yeah. What was with that lick the wall uh poster? It was exactly what you saw. The we I was walking in the caves. I just eating this piece of chicken. Oh, okay. And it said please don't lick the wall. That's the sign. I went and I took a picture of it and I came back out and I said, Mark, there's a sign here. It says, don't lick the wall. And he came in and he goes, mm. Okay, we ready? Yeah. All right. I don't know if this is going to be a spread like Peggy's or not. Um, my, my other prediction is that nobody gets a 10 because the last one was a favorite book series of mine, but it didn't get wide, wide play. Um, and it's never been made into any other media. So, uh, number one, Abydos, Arcadia, Ivorine, Hell Midnight, Trenzalore, and Woman Wept. So I actually heard someone say, uh, how do I share my screen here? Here we go. That, oh, this couldn't have been uh, Doctor Who, but uh, yes, on the fields of Trenzalore at the fall of the 11th, when no living creature can speak falsely or fail, a question will be asked, a question that must never, ever be answered. We got it. Someone initially said, oh, no, it can't be Doctor Who. It's like, what? They made such a big deal about that for a whole season or two. Yeah. Question number two is, so the hint was there are 12 of them, and they're all sort of uh, the signs of the Zodiac, because that's the uh, colonies of Battlestar Galactica. Yay, we got that. Three a little bit newer and uh, probably less known, but uh, two of the crew members, one's from Kalon and one's from Machlis. So this is from the Orville. Yay! Oh. Uh, number four was a TV series, uh, most much beloved by the fans, enough to get it a movie, and then that bombed, unfortunately, for all sorts of reasons. And the, uh, the key word there was probably Miranda, because that was the big thing of the movie. So that is Firefly and Serenity. Oh. Yep. Mm -hmm. uh, the first, the next one, which starts with Arrakis, that should have been enough to give it away. The other ones I didn't even know. So that is Dune. Mm -hmm. uh, the next one, possibly less known because it has never yet been turned to any video medium, but Apple TV is working on a series. And I am so jazzed. It's Azamo's Foundation series. Asmod. Yep. Isaac Asmod. Yeah. That is correct. Yes, the, the two main planets there are Terminus and Trantor. Uh, and I hope everybody got Star Trek. Yep, well, we did. Kronos is the Klingon homeworld. Uh, Beta Z is Counselor Troy, because she's a Beta Zoid. Bajor is the prime planet of Deep Space Nine, yada, yada, yada. Bajor, yeah, yeah Bajoran. Oh, yeah. Yep, so the, la the last one is not. Uh, the next one is not so obvious. Uh, I don't know that I would have known this if someone just gave me those names without having reviewed it. But that is specifically Guardians of the Galaxy. And I saw most people saying uh, the MCU, Marvel, I will take those. Yay. Okay. Yay. Guardians. My team was awesome. Very good. Yeah, Ego was the actually uh, the the basically where Living was, Planet. That's right. Most of the yeah, scenes yeah, of, of number Ego two were. Not, Ego is not specifically Guardians of the Galaxy. It's... Um, it's it's marble and more, more of the thing yeah so that's why it makes sense okay yeah uh so number nine the one that gives it away there is the formic cold world because in ender's game they were fighting the formix so that is the enderverse from orson scott card first book of the series was ender's game which was made into a movie with harrison ford as a matter of fact and number 10 did anybody get number 10 no, well, we, we, we guessed. Just guess guesses. Okay, no. We guessed Battlefield Earth. 
Yeah. Oh, interesting guess. I but, said L. Ron Hubbard. <laughs> well, that's a person, but okay. Well, his series of books that he wrote, something in there. That, yeah. Uh, yeah that, that was the same as ours. Battlefield Earth, yes. So I'm going to share my screen on this. This was a favorite book series of mine. This was an engineer who became a science fiction author of some repute. He's got a Wikipedia page and probably published like 30 books. Are you seeing the Inherit the Stars? Oh, uh, James B. Hogan, you wrote his Wikipedia page. No, I didn't. No? Uh, no, no. But anyway, it's the Giant series. It's a group oh. of five science fiction novels, which of which this is the first. And if you look up at the top, Asimov. Isaac Asimov said, Arthur Clarke, move over. So this is a book you guys need to read. If you haven't heard of it. Oh, get right on yeah. it. <laughs> so the, the, the premise that begins the whole, well, it was a trilogy, then it became a five series, is uh, American astronauts on the moon uh, uncover a space-suited figure, which is essentially human in his DNA, but he's got all advanced technology, and he's clearly not from Earth. So yeah. He's a skeleton. Yes, he was a skeleton, but yes. Okay. Hey. So what was the name of the last one? He's a, he's a skeleton because um, biodegradation yeah. obviously takes place on the moon. You know? <laughs> yeah. The worms come and eat there's, your There's There's uh, beetles and yeah. stuff up there. Yeah. Well, <laughs> he, had, he had microbes inside his spacesuit. <laughs> it was oh, yeah. in, inside, well, his, inside his body. Possibly. I mean, yeah, yep. possibly. Yep. I, I actually think in the story they didn't have him being decomposed, but you know, of course, the people to put the flashy thing on the cover made it a skeleton. I think that's what happened. But anyway, that was the giant series. And I'm going to paste all the answers. Bob, that's a, a favorite of yours. You said you enjoyed that. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, especially because he was an engineer who was able to give up his engineering degree and become a, an author and make money just from that. It has now been added to the Goodreads to read shelf. I'm adding that in. I have a, quite a list now. H so H there you go. Let's get the Very scores. Good. And number four really threw me off because two of those are moons of Uranus. Uh, yeah. yep. Yes, I could. I was. I wanted to do the expanse, but like almost all of them are just you know places in our solar system, so that would have been just too weird. Yeah. Okay, let's get our scores. So, uh, really good heads for trivia. That was my team and Rob's team. Nine. Yes. Good. Very good. That last one was just too obscure for us. Kurt, there is no curse. <laughs> yeah, no curse. Well, I don't know. Everybody else could have a 10. Better yeah. living in charmistry. Eight. Eight. Yeah. Okay. Beetlejuice burps. Seven. Seven. Oh, yeah. Great, guys. Um, three men and Karen's baby. Eight. Not thanks to me. Okay, Biden's cicada. Seven. Oh, this really differentiated you guys. Good, good, good job. <gasps> Not much, just a two spread. Well, it was just that you could see because there was there was people who were tied, and then one person, one group went higher, and one person went lower than the others. So 12, 13, 14, 16, and 17. Uh, Before, that's not, that's not the score. Top. That's not the score. That's their floor. What? <laughs> we're seeing like palm fronds. We're, we're seeing your desktop. Monitor. on the desktop? Wrong monitor, Susan. How could that happen? I don't know. That is impossible. Um, I just got so excited. Um, it's, it's Zoom's <laughs> fault for having a bad user interface. I said, I was done. I have three screens. Can you see it now? Yes. Okay, really good heads for trivia. You, you came back and, and you're one point away from us. Oh, yeah. Susan, we came Susan, Susan, go be oh. Susan, Susan, yeah. Susan, 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 before you move that, could you go down to the bottom of that or wherever it is on there and make the, it, it, like, zoom in a little bit so it's a tiny bit bigger? Oh, this? Yeah, just the whole sheet, tiny bit bigger. Hit Control Plus. Yeah, that, that'll work. Yeah, yeah that's, that's the easiest way to do it. That's good. Yeah, that, there you go. That's right. Here, I'll do it one more time. Okay. Okay. Oh, that's great. Right. Can yeah. I actually read the numbers now? <laughs> yeah. Oh, you want to be able to read the numbers? So what is this rural world you're in? Good job, Rob. You got a nice spread, easily an eight. Thanks, Rob. Seven point seven point nine. <laughs> yep, good good category. <laughs> 
Okay, very good. Let me take away his. I didn't hear that. Okay, so we need to take a. Uh, we're ready to uh, let's take a photo, and then let's uh, take a five minute break, and then come back with our our uh, announcements. And then it's just a little vengeance. That's all. Just a little bit. Oh, that's nice. She's putting her tomato plant in the picture. Ah. Uh, <laughs> is everybody ready? Or as oh. Susan says, it gives people something to look forward to watching. I know. Is everybody ready? Isabella, you're not going to be on screen. Isabella, Isabella. has vanished. I don't care. <laughs> oh, there's Please. Isabella. If okay. Now we have to take it again. Three, the princess wasn't there. Three, two, one. Photograph. Okay. <laughs> you guys are funny. Well, Good idea. Cool. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much. Five minutes. Mm -hmm. Take the cat. I'm, take the cat. Going now, so. I'm gonna go water my tomato plants and check my rat traps. Good All right, night, Abby. Good day, Abby. Oh, Abby, Good Abby. Out? Abby. Uh -huh. Hi, Abby. Hi, Abby. <laughs> ah, country <laughs> life. <laughs> I, I want to show you guys what I've been working on. You guys are going to love this. So um, my neighbors got these World War I pictures that I was talking about. And I have had so much fun dealing with them. But they're just beautiful. The um, Just the quality. The person who took them must have done it. You know, they're hit and miss as far as some of them are not as good as others. But let me show you these really quick since I'm still here. Are they family pictures? Well, the guy was in World War One. He was in. Um, oh wow! He came in uh, 1918, so it was at the very end. He was an engineer. Uh, no, he was an architect. So these are some of the ones that I've been working on. I'm almost finished playing with them. This is the quality that they were in when I got them. Like this, I scanned them, and then once I've I've already done one pass on each of them. And the quality has improved already. You can see the smoke coming up from the camp, and yeah. they're, smoke, they're back there. But they're, it's amazing doing somebody else's pictures because you don't know what you're going to find. Here they're repairing a bridge. This is France, by the way. And the reason why I have these in here, this back is, is because to match pictures to other pictures, you, you flip over the pictures so that you can see the back. And it helps you be able to find things. And so there's different, there, yep. I love this. Wow. This little girl down here and a little boy over here waving the French flag and all these men in the back that are salute, saluting the flag. So this is at the end of the war and everybody's, you know, starting to rebuild a gymnasium. And this is a floating, uh, the boat, they're not boats. They're, um, the bridge is on the boats. Right. That makes sense? Right, Susan. Country, I'm, a pontoon bridge. I'm yeah. unfamiliar with this. Um, with this, so when you add the, when you improve the image, um, is that a program you have, or do you have some control over that? How does that work to improve the image? Well, it's like okay, let's see. There, it's there's several programs I own it's the same as anything that anybody else has like this is what the quality would have looked like with the dots on it it's really simple but i use several different programs i run it through a whole bunch of different things so i'll put this is google photos just regular photos that you probably all have on your own computer and i usually go through and i'll crop it like this and then there's an adjustment feature and it does a pretty good job when you go in and there's an enhance feature and it usually does improve it somewhat. And then I go back and I'll do the spots. And I'll, I'll remove all these little spots that are not supposed to be there, that were dirty. Not like, a, I don't want to take anything out that really was on the film. Right, no UFOs. If there was a UFO present <laughs> at the bridge. It should stay there, right. And good. then I'll save it. And then I'll go back and um, I'll probably- wait, wait, wait. Susan. Put it through, huh? Susan, what I picked, I didn't know it had that. What tip, what tool was that that you picked that? What did it do? Copy the background from somewhere else close by and, and replace it with it? No. What are you talking well, about? Well, that's what it does. It does do that, Rob. Okay, thanks. That's what it does. And what's the name of that tool? 
I used you to think? use something called Picasa, but it's not available anymore. Oh yeah, no, Picasa is still around. You can get it. I have it on my computer. I don't use it as much as anymore, but Mark loves it. But it hasn't copied the it background. It just sharpens the whole image and does a all around color correction. So what's the tool call that did that? It's called uh, Photos. It's on uh, a- No, window. not the app. The, 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 tool, the tool you selected in the app to do that. Spot fix. Spot, so fix. spot fix removes the spots. Yeah. Wow, look at this picture. It's uh, it's just enhance. It just enhances. Can you go back one picture? That bridge, two more pictures back. That one, wow. Look at the look at the building torn down. Yeah. Um, but like I said, I'm just I just got my hands on these yesterday. Oh, you don't want to look at that one. Um, oh. Look at those outfits. Really yeah. good photos. This is amazing. Just the little <laughs> kids in here. This is the 308th Engineers Band. There's another copy of it. Go back to the original, please. One more. Oh, one more? One more back. The, orig the original of that one. There. Well, this has been cleaned up. It had a lot yeah. of spots on it before. So I fixed it. But um, wow. there's a bunch. Mm -hmm. And this is a little bunker down here, I guess. So he was in the, he was in the, he was there. Oh, here's a theater. And one of these pictures has the men sitting in here. I haven't, I haven't, mm -hmm. I fixed some of the errors on it, but I didn't get, mm -hmm. I haven't finished it. I just got these last night. And then they went to Holland. He's in Holland. Look at the wooden shoes. Mm -hmm. oh. mm -hmm. Look at this. And Man. So nobody's seen these photos since he wow. took them and uh, sent them to his mom in Ohio in, in 1918. Wow. He sent a bunch of uh, maps. Some of the things were even crossed out mm -hmm. from the sensor. Were these like postcards or did he no, take them? These are what things kind of, he took on his camera. What kind of camera? <laughs> no idea. Are I mean, you sure that's not Belgium? They could be. I'm just wondering. He can't. Couldn't have exactly just gone down to the corner drugstore in 1918 and said, "Here, would you develop all these for yeah, me?" Yeah, he did. Also, if it was an American soldier, they wouldn't have had any reason to go to uh, the Netherlands in 1918. If Netherlands were neutral. Well, this is after the war is pretty much over. By, by I now. still don't know if they would have been had any reason to go there, but they certainly would have had reason to be in Belgium. Well, maybe. So Which you have, have to look at the large detail detail for me, Caspian. Look at that. Well, with that image, you could probably figure out what cathedral that was. Yeah. <laughs> it kind of looks like REMS, actually. Alone. I'm going to post these on my Facebook page once I finish the color correction. But mm -hmm. I'm going to put them up there, and hopefully people will be able to, um, to, be able to tell what's what. This is really fascinating. Um, so this is my neighbor's pictures. And I, she has, she showed me that she had all these things. And I kept saying, let's scan them, let's scan them, let's scan them. And she's like, oh my God, it's so much work. But I just went over, I, I called her yesterday. And I said, I'm coming over with my scanner. And we spent about eight hours. And this I think was the most amazing thing is this is a, this is a written in 1922, I think it was uh, what her great aunt um kept a journal but it's not exactly a journal and she made it into her high school years isabella are you still here so she made she made it into this and we scanned it and it's in pretty bad shape that's really cool 23 so she did it from 22 to 24 i think and it's got all kinds of stuff uh quotes from her teachers quotes from her wow. friends that's so cool it's got um, uh, all kinds of passages. She's got pictures of her teachers, her principal. She, there's one point in here where she's talking about like who's most likely to be in the circus, who's <laughs> most likely to run for you know office, and um, all the classes she took. There's here's the ribbon for the class school. There's um, the officers. Yeah, there's just everything. I'm still going through this, but it was a diary that was kept. And there's even a little, we found a little envelope on here and it had a, we opened it up and it had a penny inside 
and a little note. And she says, this is from a, from, I spent the night with my friend and we had the best time when we talked till five in the morning. See, this is what I, I saw the edit it. This is what it came out like. I've got to fix these still. Mm -hmm. So there's a lot of work to do. The kids all signed it. So it's like a yearbook. Uh -huh. but, the, but the pencil thing is the the pen thing is the penny thing is she's just made this little note to, about her, a fun night she had with her girlfriend and how they had so much fun and they found this penny and it was some kind of joke and they stuck it in the envelope and she put it in her diary and that has not been opened since 1923 wow. and, and i had and she opened it up yesterday it's almost 100 years and the thing is is this girl here her name is um elizabeth harrison and she, uh, after she wrote her little diary, she was, you know, she was really good at keeping track of things, you know, keeping chronicling stuff, a little social historian. She went to college and I think she was majoring in pharmacy or I can't remember at the time, but she had tuberculosis and died. So she died at 22. So it's so sad. Yeah. And it's like, you, you know, know so when, I, when I look at history and when I read history, it always amazes me that people who were bound to die young could be so cheerful in life. She, she uh, seemed, you know, when we found, when we were looking through her paperwork last night, we found a, a, where her parent, where the teachers, no, where the school had given her permission to stay home because she was ill. And I think we found something that said she had homework and she wasn't thrilled about that because the teachers dropped off the homework. <laughs> I don't think that's what we found. I have to look. It's I have everything. It's all my hard drive. I'm we gotta go through it. I gotta I, like I said, I got it last night, finished at 10. So while I'm working while I'm doing this with you guys, I'm I'm still working on these photos. But it was amazing. And I felt, you know, I don't believe in afterlife or anything like that, but it felt really a wonderful to think that these pictures from World War One, this man had shot, nobody's seen them you know, except for his mom and, and them. And they pretty much in the same envelopes that she, he mailed them home. And this, this diary that this woman went to so much trouble to detail her, her, her school days that nobody has seen it. It's just been sitting in um, an attic in a box upstairs. I mean, she's, my, my neighbor has taken it out a couple of times and said, wow, this is something I wish I did something with it. I'm like, oh man, yeah, it, let's it scan that puppy. Listen, we had found. Imagine if Elizabeth could know and whoever that photographer could know that a hundred years from now, people would be just from all over the world would be discussing their photographs and their high school memories yeah. on an electronic device. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. think about what oh, we're yeah, doing yeah. right now, how amazing yeah. that is. We would look like we were aliens in the future, like on that book that uh, Rob was talking about, where they found somebody on a on a moon in, in a spacesuit. And Inherit the stars. This, this is the beauty of right humanity. That's why humanism is so important, because all of us, by, by you sharing these pictures and you uh, sharing this book, we value human life. And that yeah. those are the people that live then. And this you're absolutely right, Karen. It's 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 a feeling, even though as an atheist, I know that they're not really watching over us. I feel better. I feel like um, this person's life has now been useful in a new way. And um, this young girl, well, she's 22, she wasn't a girl, but her, her legacy is on, you know. I know it's not as powerful as, as um, Anne Frank, but it's the idea that somebody cared a lot to put their, their memories and things in this. And it'll mean something more to other people besides us strangers, just remembering it. So, so mm -hmm. I'm a huge advocate mm -hmm. for, for doing this. And, and I have scanners will travel, just letting you know that I love doing this. Here comes mm -hmm. Jeff. I sound like my mom because she's, my grandmother had done a lot of genealogy and collecting things. And we found old camera footage back from the 50s oh early 50s of my grandmother as an 18 year old and walking around and it's and we found pictures like my grandfather after she died found a photo of them standing in front of the washington mall where she had married she mailed it to her mother in florida and told her this is the man i'm gonna marry <laughs> this is my hunk of a man 
And he had never seen this photograph before. And he had never knew that she had sent this. Oh, wow. And then finding, you know, a uh, Catholic church pamphlet of a uh, service he did back in 1945 while he was was pandering the occupation. Like knowing that he was actually in these cities and doing these things. And this was a part of who he was and stuff. And just being able to reconnect back with him because he's been dead almost 11 years and my grandmother's been dead almost 20. So it's being able to go through all these things and feel like I've been able to understand them and catch up a little bit more. Right. Even and though my time is in different limited. light too. Hi cuties, can you hear us talking? Wow, Has they're any... so big, look at them. Yeah, yeah, they've grown a lot in a week. Yeah. <laughs> a couple of weeks, I don't remember seeing yeah. last week. Yeah, we didn't do it last week. So but they've, two been, weeks? they've been growing really fast. We're yeah, almost like they, don't, they are <laughs> almost they're they're basically at weight now to they go weigh and two pounds, so they can go out for adoption. But we're waiting for a spay and neuter because they're backed up still. Aren't they beautiful? Look, they're at them. adorable. They're oh, five, yeah. them, right? Oh, look at them! Smile. They're a hundred dollars each. <laughs> <laughs> We'd we'll have to come up to Seattle to get them. Yep. Yeah, pick up in is Seattle. There, is there a quantity discount? Uh, that mm-hmm. is actually, we have to get two because kittens don't do well if they only have one. But, but there's um, five. So how are they going to do it? Somebody has to take three? One yeah, of them, one of them will probably go, like either someone's going to have to take three or a pair of them are going to. Yeah, a lot of times they'll take one kitten from two different litters. And there's three of them that are orange and they look exactly the same. So we would expect those to not go home together anyway. <laughs> so some people want to have cats that look exactly the same as each other, but most people don't. They could name them all George. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then they'd always come. They'd always get both of them. Look at them. Yeah. Hi, we, kitties. We're watching we you grow up. Do you see us? We know how to tell them apart. We can tell We've them. We've got apart. a system, yeah, but it's a like it's the fact that it has to get to the point where it's a system to tell the three yeah. orange ones apart from each other. A lot of times they do process of elimination. Yeah. Kitties. Susan, I yeah. I I scanned my whole baby book um, like in 2006. And uh, I, that's my thing is scanning old photographs. I, my mom turned 80 a couple of years ago and I, I scanned a bunch of photographs and made her a little, a little movie to show at her party. So we cleaned out our storage last week and found her, her uh, old uh, cedar chest was in there. And there were a bunch of pictures I wish I had. So I'm going to do those. She's still alive, but I'm going to have to redo the movie probably before too long. So, Well, you uh, know what? I have a video. I, I'm probably going to do it again that I did for Leonard's wife's uh, genealogy group on kind of the philosophy and how to <laughs> kind of basically do this kind of stuff. And I really am. I think that you just got to do this like my like this. It's so important and to preserve it because <laughs> it's not going to get done otherwise. Even if this was difficult, you know, even if it's a horrible mess, like my neighbor, she she had one box sitting there waiting for me whenever I got to um, her house yesterday, and she says, "Here's this one box," and I'm like, "Okay, let's get started sorting." And I took all the pictures out of the box and I flipped them over so it was just the back of them. And then I went and got, uh, and, sh- and we started and we sorted and sorted because they were all mixed together. It wasn't like a, I wasn't breaking anything up. They'd just been thrown into the box. And then she went back into the attic and got two more big boxes. So we did three big boxes. It was, it was incredible to, and I, I still haven't even barely looked at them, I, I swear. Would you say this, Rob? Susan, I did, Susan, I didn't tell you this, but the last thing that we found in the Jerry Andrus boxes was six reels of eight millimeter film of of uh, either Jerry and George or old family movies, and uh, we've sent them over to have. That's very brittle, and there's a place very close to Steve in Portland that's going to transfer them to digital. Oh, that's wonderful! I was going to say, have them get them transferred. Should be interesting. Yeah, you never know what you're going to find on these things. I have no idea what's on them. If you guys, if, before they just went if, out. You, 
if you want to see something, it's nothing to do with, with your own pictures, but if you want to see something that is absolutely incredible, uh, I was just looking here, uh, it's through Smithsonian. There was a guy back in the, I guess, in the late 1800s during the Tsarist in, in Imperial Russia, and he traveled across and he developed, I guess, a new three three color system of of tra of turning his black and white pictures into color. And I remember hearing not, about this. And it's not, and it's not, uh, it's not the kind of thing that you see in old postcards where they sort of white use a little like looks like you know watercolors and, and fake it. And and they and they you can you can go online, you can see these pictures, and they'll have a picture of of somebody, either it's a landscape or a, maybe a peasant. And you'll see the, the original black and white, and then you'll see it in color. And when you see it in color, you it looks suddenly, you know, like old pictures just look old. Everything's black and white. Everything in the background's dirty and gray and everything. Now you see the vibrant colors, and it looks, when you see these guys, it looks like it was taken this afternoon in color. The pictures are absolutely incredible. So when you see some of these old pictures that have been digitally colorized like that it's it's absolutely astounding and suddenly it makes his sort of oldish history not so old anymore uh yeah. it's the truth of smithsonian all you have to do is look for imperial i think this one's called color photographs of imperial russia you know and and just look at look it up the picture well, somebody put a link in the chat so i can add it to my pile of things to watch after trivia <laughs> we have a um, there's a program on like on my phone that will digitize photos and colorize them and the AI isn't very good but it does do some and enough that it just makes you feel like whoa just like you said Alan like wow like it'll color the flowers in the background and give the green grass and the sky a little color and the people a little color it'll pull it out and you just feel like well I you know like it was modern you don't realize how much this black and white throws you off to make it feel like it's just instantly Oh, that must have been really old and, you know, thousands of years old or whatever. Yeah, if you could find that link, that'd be great. Okay, so we ready for announcements? I think everybody's back. Um, I wanted to um, uh, mention again that there are videos up on my YouTube channel, Susan Gerbeck's YouTube channel for trivia, which is, this is where it'll go. I think we've got a viewership of an average of seven something like that not, nobody's gonna be making tv shows out of us or anything but i find wow susan you're becoming I, famous i know seven you know but i think it's fun to just remember again preserving this and i go back to that if you i know this is on wikimedia wikipedia but right before the 1906 or 1909 earthquake in san francisco what was it 1906 1906 the 1906 earthquake they hired this tv and this uh, movie crew to, on a on a, they put a big camera on the back of a uh, cable car and went down the market street all the way from one end to the other and just captured all the life that was happening around and people walking in cars and, and, and buggies and stuff like that. It was amazing to see, it's no, no sound. And then afterwards, after the 1906 earthquake, which was very soon after this, they did it again. And you can see the devastation. Mm -hmm. and there's still like smoke coming out of the buildings and and piles of rubble all over there are two there are two videos done really some really one right after the other it's the same track the same company hired to do it and it's it's phenomenal so you never know what you're capturing now that may be important years later even if it's just important to us if it might not be important to anybody but us but i i love that we have this on here um, anyway, so uh, Kevin's, I want to mention Kevin's son, Jake, is now um, a second lieutenant in the chemical corps as of today. And I think that's really awesome and fun. Well, not fun necessarily. And um, I also wanted to mention, I wanted to have Janine tell us about her chicken bonding. And I wanted to... Um, uh, Newman to mention what's the latest on Go Fact Yourself, unless there's anything else I need to mention. Janine, you want to say something about your chickens? Well, I had I had four broody hens, but one one got very broody over a month ago, 
and she's very persistent. She is a doppelganger to Bugs, who was out here on the table a minute ago. And um, she got baby chicks put, so she was sitting on eggs for over a month. And last night I went Thank out you. at midnight and pulled those eggs out from under her and put six baby chicks under her. And they have bonded now. They talk to one another, another all night. And she is now mothering the six baby chicks. And I just got them transferred into a, a tub that um, the babies won't fall out of the boxes. They were falling out of the boxes. And then I'd come in and find them cheeping and running around on the floor, having no idea where their mommy was. And so now they're all together in the pen with crumbles and water and everything they need. And so I now Isn't have a, a sweet happy story? family of six baby hens. And the, and the video's up and on, coming on baby. her Facebook page. And when she says the eggs, she was sitting on eggs, they were fake eggs. Some of the eggs were fake. And some were real. I think, I, think I brought in well over a dozen real eggs that have been sitting there <laughs> under her for a month. So Newman, what you got? <laughs> I didn't really uh, always say that. Do I always say that? <laughs> you wrote that on that thing. I didn't realize I said it until I just said it again. Okay. Newman, what you got? Um, tomorrow on Go Fact Yourself, uh, all of our guests are from another country because we're doing it on Zoom so they can come from anywhere. And you will want to tune in if you are a fan of the Rocky Horror Picture Show. Oh. And no one watches that. I... <laughs> okay. I and that. there's a job oh, yeah. opportunity in Salinas. Is it Nell? Is it Nell from uh, the Rocky Horror Picture Show? It oh, may no. be Nell. So, I used to share an office with her. Really? Really? No. For like a brief time. I worked, I worked at a magazine and they had like they had the HR department, the tech department, and Nell Campbell all in one office. I was walking down the street. <laughs> oh my god, she never moved down. So yeah, Jim Newman says there's a trivia job in Salinas, but it's on Thursday nights. It is on Thursday nights. It's hosting at the XL Public House. It Thursday night is their trivia night and their host is leaving at the end of July. It is a paid gig. And it's it's easy and fun. And uh, who writes the questions? Susan, are you gonna take it up? You could move your trivia night to Wednesdays or something and, and get paid to do it on Thursdays. Who writes uh, the questions, human? Someone else. They just send you an email. It's all there. <laughs> all the equipment is provided. Everything's provided. Wow. You just need to show up and do it. You're just kidding. That's all it is? Just like is food? How much money can you get? How, 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 how much is something like that pay? I, burgers. It pays in burgers. I, I mean, usually you get a free meal, free meal and drinks. Um, and it's probably starting at 50 bucks. For the night? Woo! For the night, for, two, for a couple of hours. I mean, it's not as long as this. <laughs> so it's $25 an hour, basically. But Is there free food? Yeah. There should be free food, yes. It's just that it's on Thursday nights. Apparently it's on Thursday nights. And I thought of Isabella, but you're leaving town. And I don't know. <laughs> you might have to be 21 to do it. because it's Probably. A bar. But it's also a restaurant. So I just, I just texted them to ask, you know. If they serve food, food, she can be in there. Is that is that place the one over by the Steinbeck House, XL Public House, or it's by the Steinbeck Center? Where where is that? One twenty seven Main no Street. Oh. That's correct. It's where Bias P uh, uh, Pia's Buy Right Market used to be in the hundred block, four doors down from the cinema. Robin, you need another job. Is it in Salinas? <laughs> no, I do yeah. not need another job. <laughs> oh, you mean it's like you mean it's like walking distance from Old me? Town. Yes, yeah. it's yeah. walking distance for for um, Susan. 
you know it's yeah. it's it's yeah, an idea sure. i don't know i don't know if if i could have all, all the local yeah. people could come down on thursday <laughs> and then we could do a change this i don't know let me think before covid you could go to trivia every night of the week somewhere in monterey area wait oh. so why did you guys stop going to the london bridge pub one because of covid well yeah i know but like why why didn't like do did we just is this better than their trivia uh, this this is better than their trivia i will never go back <laughs> what was wrong with theirs uh they've, they've got these uh it's a lot of sports questions Mm. and the so guy and the and the teams never waver it's always the same people on the teams and they're not friendly and yeah, they're, they're not they're not the, the, it's not fun they're like cutthroat and they're, yeah, they're super so, super yeah. nerds it's they like they built a team of people that are always the same people and they've got like yeah. team jacket names and stuff <laughs> and, and they think they're so hot and, I've and they are so I've, hot because we always lost well i come in and i was i was like adamant i was going to make friends with people and i'd come in like hi everybody hey team great job you know to the people across from us they'd be like yeah, yeah. I, I did finally learn one of their names they they did not yeah. succumb to susan's charm at all no yeah there he is no <laughs> <laughs> they look like that guy <laughs> oh is this the picture you're talking about these, are, these are the these are the pictures so this is what it would have originally looked like here and yes. oh shoot what did i just do? i thought I that was a painting up. that looks so cool yeah so uh sorry sorry i screwed that up here so, he so used to and so what he did so he colorized so you see you see instead of being the usual old old gray stuff that you all yeah. always saw uh you get this um you get these incredible pictures and i just screwed the whole thing up as i wanted well, that, to was, that, you can see it. that was taken with what is essentially a color camera Oh uh, yeah, I, I think that the, it turned out the dates were a little later than I thought. It was like somewhere around 1905. They 19, take a series yeah. of pictures using color filters. Uh, apparently, what he does, he, he, yeah, it's three colors, and and he builds on this. But the thing is, the colors are so vibrant. I this is one of my favorites. That, you know, that's but the way they have color they photography have, works. Yeah, yeah, but that, but at that time, this was all something new, and he just developed this thing. And uh, so this and is so like a forensic uh, analysis of what the the a black and white photo, what the color really was. Is no, this is, no, this, he, he, this, this he, is taken he with a camera took, designed to do this. He actually, the guy who did this, took the pictures at the time. This is not taken. This is not someone now digitally enhanced the picture with color this is the system the guy took the picture somehow or another it describes oh. it in the the smithsonian thing oh. the, he actually had the system where he took the oh, pictures I, and built and so he yeah like 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 leonard says that's that's essentially I, uh, I would think it probably took like three photographs one with a red filter one with a green filter yeah. and one with a blue filter yeah so in those okay. three but, black and white photos on the right all contain all the color information you need yeah, something That's like that. Nice. And, and 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 he did that, but <laughs> this was done like in 1905. And it's absolutely fantastic. So there's there's landscapes, there's uh the portraits, there's there's peasants in the fields, and it just looks like it just looks like that was just taken this afternoon. It does. You know, oh. so suddenly this old picture that you think, oh, that's like ancient times, suddenly just it, it brings it's a it brings history uh oh, yeah. uh you know. Uh, more realistic, it's, it's really more amazing. real. You like like a person could feel like, oh, so this is is this a program of some kind that somebody like myself could just get a hold of and, and do it, or is this no, but it, no, it, no, no, no. This this was this, made this with is that a whole series. Of, there's like I don't know thousand or more pictures that this guy this this Russian guy took traveling across uh, 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 Tsarist Russia. And and using the, and using this thing, and so you go, you can find it on the Smithsonian. I, th I think a Smithsonian site or something. Okay, like so that. this isn't software that that changes it. This is an no, actual camera. No, the color photograph camera. was taken in 1905. Yes. So this in was color. originally. This is what the guy took. This is not something that was just done currently. Um, and so these are the colors. This, this is the okay, color. I'm not, I'm not understanding, but that's okay. I'm not getting why this is so unique then. If you're telling me it, it's not... there's no reason. Okay. <laughs> except so, that, it, except it's one of the first examples. Yes, it was. The, and uh, what I'm saying is that when you, it's like, it's like enhancing the black and white family portraits and suddenly everything comes to life. Well, it's <laughs> see, it's just the idea that you see these pictures 
you know, you see something that is 100 and 120 years old, and suddenly it doesn't seem that ancient. It seems could these people seem far more real than just seeing a, a black and white picture of a bunch of people with vacant with vacant eyes that really ha you have no connection with. When you see them here, it's like, hey, I know that guy. Right, but you, but this is not software that I could use on old no, black no, white photos. No, 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 no. The color photograph was taken in color in 1905. Yes. Well, I, you, but there's a way to take color photography using black and white negatives if you use color filters. Right, mm -hmm. that's what this is. Yeah. So you're saying there it is. So the interesting thing is it wasn't a color negative. It's three black and white negatives, one with a red filter, one with a green filter, one with a blue filter. And mm. you have the, the red information, green information, and blue information in there, which you can combine to make a color photo. So yeah. I had to have a special camera that took this. Right. Yeah. 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 He probably, he developed, and he apparently developed this system, but it's, oh, it's, neat. but if you, but it's just, it's worthwhile going on the site, finding it and, and just going, going through these pictures. It really, it just gives you a whole new perspective oh, yeah. on the time, you know, look at uh, that. Look at the difference. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Alan, you thank you. You, yeah. if you. If you have a link that we could, I would appreciate that because that would be, I'd like to peruse that. I'm looking at them right now. They're really wonderful. Yeah. Put the link in the chat, please. And I will yeah. take care of it for after. Gail, where are you? Yeah, Robin, here. Robin, can you put up your yeah. link, the, the, whatever you've got there? Because I, I never know where to find these uh, things. Okay. Are you well, ready? I've, I've, I'm looking at it on my phone, so I don't, but. Yeah, well, that's kind of where I dug it. Ready, Mano. What's it called? Well, what I'm looking at, the I'm looking at earthlymission.com. And or, I think it, I just Googled. Um, if you if you if you go if you Google Imperial Russia in color, that's uh, kind of what, what I that's what I Googled. Yeah, you'll 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 get it. And the guy's name's Pushkin or something like that. <laughs> All right, Gail, are you you're up? You ready? I'm ready. Okay, we're gonna oh, have a Gail has stepped in for Robin. So Robin, you're going to be taking Gail's spot for next week if that's all right. Yes, I've started working on Thank my... you, Gail, for stepping in. No problem. And because I, I had already written something, um, I was going to use that. But because of the news today, I changed the topic I was planning on and rewrote it. Uh, if you watch the news today, you know that the Supreme Court just unanimously decided yet again that Obamacare is constitutional in its entirety. Uh, they threw it out of court, actually. Uh I don't think no, it was they unanimous. didn't decide it was constitutional. They said they had no standing to sue. That's what I said. They threw it out of court, but it amounts so, to. They didn't, it, it, they didn't say it was constitutional. It says nothing about the constitutionality. Right. Anyway, it is constitutional unless they say it isn't. And they didn't <laughs> say it isn't, so it still is. Thank you. It is and still the, the law topic, of the land. The topic that I picked is, in fact, the Supreme Court. Oh, awesome. That was. A complete change of pace from what we've been doing already. Today. I love that it's different. Okay, it's cool. Right. And I have taken a class in Supreme Court history, so hopefully you'll like the topic then. Muting everybody. On my team, you're going to be taking substituting for me on my team. I'm thrilled. Yeah, so we're hoping you know all this stuff, Susan. I, I'll try. <laughs> all right. Okay. Three, two. You're muted. I'm now unmuted and let me start typing the questions in. Okay, so the first question is, who was the only US president who also served on the Supreme Court? Question number two. The first black Supreme Court justice was appointed by Lyndon Johnson. Who was he? That should be an easy one.
This next one is a multiple choice, and it's a long one. The Constitution requires that the president be at least 35 years old, a senator must be at least 30, and a House representative must be at least 25. What is the requirement to be a justice on the Supreme Court? A, 40 years old, B, 45 years old, or C, there is no age requirement. One up. Okay. Oh, I did it again. Okay, speaking of qualifications, does the Constitution require that the justices have a law degree? And that's a yes or no question. Number five, who was the very first Supreme Court justice who was appointed in 1789? Okay, the next one is a true and false. There are several of those. Gail, your question said who was the first Chief Justice, and you said who was the first Supreme Court Justice. Which one did you mean? The first Chief Justice of the Supreme Court. Okay, true or false. Of the three branches of the federal government, the Constitution provides that it is the judiciary, with SCOTUS as the highest court, that decides whether a law enacted by Congress is in violation of any part of the Constitution. That's a true and false. And this next one is also a long one. In a series of decisions that started with Pressey versus Ferguson in 1896, that upheld the Jim Crow laws under the doctrine of separate but equal, but was overturned by Brown versus the Board of Education in 1954, and was finally codified by Congress with what significant law in 1964 that made racial equality a matter of federal law. Eight. Another true and false. The Roe v. Wade decision in 1973 said that the law in Texas that outlawed abortion was struck down because it restricted the women's right to choose using the constitutionally implied right to privacy as the rationale. Okay, and number nine is another true and false. The Miranda decision in 1966 guarantees that anyone who's a defendant in any civil or criminal case in the US is entitled to be represented, represented by an attorney if they cannot afford one. And then finally, number 10, one more true and false, which probably makes this much easier, right? The number of justices on the Supreme Court has not always been nine. It has ranged from five to 10, but the Judiciary Act of 1869 found the number not, fixed the number at nine. Congress has the power to pass a new law that changes that number. Okay, that's it. Okay.
Very good, Gail. I'm gonna have to think about these. Good. Um, I, I don't think they're hard. <laughs> the curse has become a bonus now. <laughs> well, think of think of how many true and falses there are. You know, fifty percent. Well, that's true. That is true. All right. Anybody have anything else that we need to ask or nope. any clarifications? Okay. The answers are easy if you know the answers. Yes. Yeah. Uh, you, you can figure out some of them if you know something. Okay. Um, are the true and false ones like tricky or are they just fairly not tricky? They're not tricky uh, in the sense that I'm trying to fool you. They're factually based. Okay. But they could be partly true and partly false. So like in which case know, they're false. Is that true? Like in the, in the <laughs> return, it's not like, oh, it was in 19, 1870, not yeah, I'm not gonna do anything like that. No, if it's if it's that, false, right. this is Gail, if it's true, advice. all the facts are true. If it's false. A significant fact is false. Okay. 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 Ready, everybody? And, 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 and no. you may have noticed there's an overlap in my questions because I also had the planet Miranda. <laughs> <laughs> it's almost like you guys planned this together. All right. Isabella's iPad needs to go into three minutes. My, uh, Mark, for some reason, our internet cut out. That's why. Hey. <laughs> Eh. Okay, I'm going into biting cicadas. There we go. <laughs> okay. okay. Oof. Can so, everybody see the screen? Yeah. yeah so that's how good. are you guys all on this? So I I don't remember who the first president. Oh wait, who was the only president? Wasn't it uh, Jefferson? Was Taft, William Howard Taft? Yeah, that's probably right. And, and he was appointed as Thurgood Marshall to the Supreme Court after. Thurgood Marshall, right? And how do you spell his first name? I don't know. However, T H U R Good. <laughs> there you go. Thank you, Marshall. Marshall. Like okay, and the next one, I don't think there's an age requirement because obviously there's, you know, you, need to play or you have to have three, this video that it it keeps playing music every so often. Okay. I don't think there's an age requirement. Yeah, I don't think so. Either. That's kind of what I was thinking too. Oh, when yeah. I saw that as, as C, I was all like, it's probably going to be C. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think so. Yeah. No, not cheap. Don't be putting words. And I don't think they have to have a law degree. No, nope, I'm pretty they sure do because uh, the Constitution yeah. doesn't say anything about that. I don't think there were law degrees then, <laughs> at least not here. Who was the first Chief Justice point? Now, that one I was trying to think about. I don't remember. That's John Jay, I believe. I oh, I think you're right. That sounds right. John Jay as in J-A-Y, not the letter J. Correct. J-A-Y, correct. Of the three branches of the Constitution, now, what does yeah. it mean that is the judicial? So, so it, yeah, they do decide those things, but only if they're brought to them as cases and they only decide as narrowly as they can get away with. Right. So not going to say, here's a law. We don't like it because of this reason. So we're going to say it's not constitutional. They don't do that. It has to be a case that somebody's tried in a lower court and then is almost always anyway. Um, and then is brought to the Supreme Court because it doesn't, it gets appealed and blah, 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 blah. So it, they don't just go out of their way to, to decide constitutionalities of things. I also do not know if the Constitution provides for that. I think it's something that has developed in practice that yeah. the Supreme Court makes these decisions. But I don't know that it's in the Constitution that right. that is their purpose. Yeah. So things is false, right? Yeah. Yeah. Seven. Was this a privacy thing or something? I mean, it was, seems like it was some other kind of, they, they did it, but it wasn't the normal way of, you would think it, it was done. Wasn't this the Civil Rights Act? That, that yeah. Johnson signed? 
in 64? For number seven, yeah. Yeah, so that's okay. true. Right back. Well, yeah, what we need is the significant law, so it would be the Civil Rights Act. Yeah. yeah. All right, now. Or false, Roe v. Wade. Okay, this yeah. is what I was thinking about, privacy. Um, yeah, that I don't remember. They restricted the woman's right to choose using the constant. I'm pretty sure that's true. You think that's true? Okay. Yeah, I was not positive. That, that's, that's really familiar. That, okay. that that is the one I was thinking of, that it didn't, it wasn't yeah. what you would have thought, how they got about it. So the Miranda rights are like you have um, the right to remain right. silent right. and the right to an attorney if one if you cannot afford one one will be that, that's from watching all the Law and Order shows yeah. you learn that right, right? <laughs> like every cop show you've ever seen <laughs> so this is this is going to be true right because I, I mean so, that's yeah. one of the things that's provided is that they'll provide you an attorney if you can't yeah. afford one so and that's yes. one of the Miranda rights okay. so, I would say true but now hold on before. Is that it's? I don't think that's true for a civil case. Like well, civil or you, criminal, yeah. If I sue you, you I don't think you get the, the government's going to. Yeah, but you would be arrested, so there would be no Miranda. Well, it's not talking about being a. This is talking about being a defendant. So, I mean, as she said, she wasn't going to be tricky. So I don't. Right, know. that's that's the thing, because that would be kind of one of those where if it's only criminal but not civil. Uh, that borders on I kind of police don't go around arresting here. people for civil offenses usually either they might serve you with a with a like a uh, what do you call it um an order to appear or something but could you be a defendant in a civil case where the plaintiff is the government mm. Mm, that's a good thought because if if it's a civil case against government, you would think that you would be provided an attorney in that case. Well, if you're suing them, no. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. If they're suing you. I don't know. <laughs> Does that ever happen? And I don't think this is a tricky question. I think this is like a big part of the question. Like if like it's. It's not like she's trying to pull a fast one on this. I, I, yeah, I, I mean, based upon what she said, because otherwise we're looking at two words in that question being the only thing that would make it false. And that to me well, seems like not she did say the way she would go. Some of them would be partly true and partly false, which would make them false. Right, but then she right. proceeded to say after that, that it would be, how exactly did she word it? She, she said it would she be- there would be a significant amount yeah, of stuff. Yeah, right. Right. It wouldn't be like that's a pretty significant if half of the cases are are not guaranteed a, 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 an attorney. Right. I'm just thinking from the standpoint of a you know if if only those two words are what's going to make a otherwise true question false. That's. Well, I'm voting I would for consider false. that a tricky question. I could be wrong, but I'm voting for false on that just because of that. I still think it's true. Okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm voting right. for true on that one. All right. What's our consensus? Wilma? I don't know enough about, I know enough, I know some about criminal, but I don't know enough about civil. What do you think Gail would have done? <laughs> you think she would have put that in there to be I don't think, I, I can't see Gail doing that. Which way are you leaning, Jim? I was leaning toward false, but then that leaves us deadlocked. But I, <laughs> no, I, no. That's okay. We can, we can flip a coin. <laughs> I defer to those who know Gail better than I do. Speak of the Speaking Gail. Of Gail, there she is. Wow. Oh. How can we I How can we ask her without asking for the answer? <laughs> yeah, we can't. Um, yeah. I'm, I'm staking what I know of Gail. I'm still saying it's true. But I'm just a guest here. So if you think that it's false, 
but you aren't a guest. You were right. Gail's replacement. So you are our team member for this round. Gail, we have a question for you. Uh-oh. He's asking it. But she won't answer. <laughs> She's going to disappear out of the room watch. Uh, in the Miranda question, we are wondering if you consider the words any civil a significant part of the question. Because you said there would be a significant part that was wrong. I, I can't answer that because it wouldn't be fair since I didn't answer that for everybody else, right? Okay. But anything, I, what I meant when I said not significant, I meant things like it wasn't 1973, it was 1972, so it's false, right? Okay. And All right. That's what I meant by insignificant. Yeah, I'm, I know I'm we almost done. Like everybody else seems to be just finishing, Susan. Okay, we can give all, a we're, warning. We're almost done. So when we're done yep. with ours, we'll all call everybody back. Okay. Um, okay, Thank so you, if you guys want to change nine to the other one, that's fine. So Jim, yeah. are you can thinking we, can we go back to number nine? Yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah that's what are, we're are still we, talking are about. Are we sure that if you, if you're being sued in a civil matter that you don't have right like you can go for like um what is it called no, when if you... somebody if somebody like runs into your house with their car and you sue them for the damages i don't th I, and i don't think like i don't think oj got government you know supported attorneys when they sued him for whatever that was that he did. right but that's like he could afford one right, right? so yeah it's, it's only if you can't afford one that they have to provide one for you I guess but I think look at your financials and we're overthinking it, I think. Right. I'm leaning towards true. You know, I my thought is that. I would think that it shouldn't matter whether it's civil or criminal. If someone sues you and you don't have any means to an attorney, that's gonna make it really hard for some people to defend themselves against civil cases yeah it does then you just go find any joe blow who can't afford an attorney and you sue them yeah in a, in a civil court they do but then okay yeah. <laughs> but if, they don't, if they can't afford it a, a, a lawyer then how much money are you going to get out of them I so that too unless they own a home or something um yeah i don't think they can take your home but anyway you do what you want i think 10 is true Oh, uh, this is definitely, now I didn't know that there is a fixed number that has been set, the Judiciary Act of 1869. I didn't know there was a Judiciary Act. I thought they just well, customarily- Remember how much they're talking on. about it recently about, well, we got all these conservative justices, we have to pass a thing so we can mm -hmm. have more. Mm -hmm. Right, I know they can change it. Yeah. I just didn't right. know that there was some sort of, some sort of act that said that it's been fixed. Right. I thought it's just been nine, customarily you know it's just been uh, that way for i think a it time. was for a while but and then i think they so i think well, that fdr tried to make it bigger up. yeah and as yeah. a canadian not knowing american politics is it congress that would have that power or is it another body it yeah, should congress. be congress okay. congress has the power to pass laws right okay and the fact that fdr tried suggests that there is no Judiciary Act that would have fixed it. So you're thinking See, false on that one? That. See, I, I definitely, I, I agree with Deborah that the, this was just discussed about them increasing the amount. I just don't remember if there was a specific act that limited it or if it was just like Susan was saying that it's been customarily, you know, the number nine, but we've had more in the past and I really right. don't think there's a Judiciary Act of 1869 that sets the number at nine, because if so, we would be hearing these Republicans going, oh, no, we can't, we can't go against the law that has already been the Act of 1869. Mm. Now, I can't, I haven't heard that argument. I've only heard them saying, no, we shouldn't do that because of, you know, you're trying to pack the court or whatever. Mm -hmm. But I've not heard of anybody saying that would go against some act. So I, I know that they can change the number, but I don't think they would have to pass a new law. I think they just appoint them and that's it. And they're approved. Maybe. I don't know I if think that's that would be sneaky that Gail would try to put that in there or not. 
I, I think Congress would have to pass a law. You what? I think Congress would have to pass a law, but I don't know that it is. You don't think there's a, do, a Judiciary yeah. Act of 1869? Yeah. I know that the president can't do it alone because FDR tried and failed. Okay. Yeah, I, I'm just, I'm fine with this being that, that yes, the Congress has the power to pass a new law. Or right. Congress has the power. I don't think they have to pass a new law. I really don't. I think they just have to say, we're appointing 13 this time. And that's, that's that. And if the Congress says, we want 13 this year, it's 13. I don't yeah, I guess the president law. could just nominate someone else and Congress can decide to accept it or not. But I think it's just a big, it's a big deal, obviously. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, you know, you have to have an overwhelming support. But I don't think there's any law or... So I think, we're, I think we're agreed that that's false. Based on that, but they could change the number if they wanted to. Right, yeah. Okay, right. so everybody okay. sounds like they're probably... Um, it, it looks like everybody else is finished. Okay. Yeah. And wh okay. what is our answer on nine? True. The Miranda one? It, I see the word true written. I don't know. Well, I wrote true, but I still was waiting for Jim. Jim was saying false, right? I'm going, I'm going with false now, but I, I sense that, that Susan was swinging toward true. And Wilma, did you have a, or you, you were also I, true? I was thinking tr true as well. Okay. Deborah, it was Wilma. Who, it was Wilma who was swinging from abstain to true. Right. Okay. Which and I think we have three, false? three, three votes for true and two votes for false. Ben, are you okay. with the trues? Yeah, I, I think that one's true. Okay. Well, I could be wrong. Well, all right. We'll find out very soon. Yes, we will. <laughs> okay. Good. Good. Good game, guys. I don't all like right. the pressure. Uh, <laughs> okay. the the she's having forced to talk <laughs> about it. Yes, no. no pressure or anything more. Right. Good luck. Yep. Mm -hmm. Good discussion in there, Gail. It was very interesting to watch. You're right. The best fun is going and what, listening to what people say. Right. And I then, think if I'm recording this, you can listen to the stuff that you weren't in the room for. <laughs> okay. <Yeah. laughs> As we were talking about you, as would Gail do this? No, I don't think Gail would do that. This is all factual stuff, so my my thing does not should not apply. I think probably the fastest and most efficient way is why don't I go through and read all of the answers and then post them all rather than okay, go back. That's and fine. Okay? I'm that. okay, number one, who is the only U.S. president to also serve on the Supreme Court? Taft. Good job, Jim. The first black Supreme Court justice was Thurgood Marshall. I think everyone got that one. The Constitution requires the president to be at least 35 and so forth. There is not any requirement for Yay. the Supreme Court, not even if you're an American citizen. There's no requirement at all for who's going to be appointed to the Supreme Court. Let's see. Yeah. Okay, and speaking of qualifications, uh, could you not have a law degree? There's no qualification. Absolutely, you don't have to have a law degree. And in fact, many of them in the 18th and 19th centuries didn't because their law schools were hard to find and most of them were self-taught on the law. The last justice without such a degree was James Burns, from, who was on the court from 1941 to 42. He wasn't there very long. He didn't even graduate from high school. Oh, wow. <laughs> I don't think Lincoln had a law degree. He passed the bar, didn't he? But he didn't oh, he have did, a degree. He, he had a, yeah, he was a lawyer. He was a lawyer, but he did not have a law degree. And he didn't attend. He was self-taught. Like most I think when when guys. when uh, Abraham Lincoln was a lawyer, I don't think there was a bar exam. I think you just. It wasn't. You're right. You're on mute. It was you, you, but you just you, went to the bar and said, I'm a lawyer. Yeah. <laughs> Matt, I Matthew that I'm a was lawyer. great in Most that of the lawyers were self taught or had a self taught them back then. Okay, number five. Who was the first chief, Supreme Court justice? John Jay. Good job, one. team. He has a subway stop named after him in Brooklyn. Mm -hmm. <laughs> ah, okay. 
next near the uh, John Jay uh, College of Criminal Law. He used to play center field for the Cardinals. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Um, if the highest court decides whether a law enacted by Congress is is in violation of the Constitution, that statement is false. The Constitution says nothing about this. It was a decision in the Marbury versus Madison in 1803, and it's a fascinating story. Uh, Chief Justice Marshall wanted that role for the Supreme Court, and Jefferson had just been elected president and John Adams had appointed a justice of several justices of the peace, but one of them was Marbury. And because he had done it in the last day of his presidency, it hadn't been, the information hadn't been delivered to him. So he sued, so they, he, uh, Jefferson didn't want him. Jefferson wanted to make his own appointment. And Jefferson said, uh, you, you didn't get the actual approval, so you're not, justice and uh he sued and this, and what happened was marshall very wisely said this is not an important case right this is whether one man got this job but um but because marshall wanted the supreme court to have that power he sided with jefferson and said that he didn't have the power to do that and it was contrary to the Constitution and therefore set the precedent, which is still in effect today, that the Supreme Court has that power. Hmm. Oh, that is a fascinating story, I think. I think oh, we yeah, missed yeah. that one because I misread the question. Thank you, we just the, didn't think about it. Yeah, Yeah. The, I, I just thought the question was, does the Supreme Court have that power? Yes. They have it, but they don't have it officially. They, they don't, they, they, he, the he got it for them. And nobody's going to take it away now. <laughs> and a series of decisions was started with Plessy versus Ferguson. That whole thing, the law that resulted in all of that is correct, was the Civil Rights Act. All right. That should have been an easy answer since it was practically in the answer, right? Specifically, the Civil Rights Act of 64, there were Civil Rights Acts in 57, 61, and 68 as well. Well, it says a significant law in 1964 in the question. Right. <laughs> I was trying to overthink it. <laughs> Number eight, true or false, the um, Roe versus Wade said that the law in Texas that outlawed abortion was struck down because it restricted women's rights to choose among the constitutionally implied right to privacy is the rationale, and that is true. Yay. It's implied in the Constitution, and the, the opposition to it said that it never says that we have a right to privacy in the Constitution. They said it was implied. It says you have a right to uh, uh, be secure in your persons, houses, etc. I would say that would be pretty clear. Well, that they called it the right. They said it was yeah, the right. right. Yeah, yeah. That was what the court really mm -hmm. ruling said. Okay. And this one I, I heard was probably the most controversial one of all of them. The Miranda decision in 1966 guarantees that anyone who is defendant in any civil or criminal case in the U.S. is entitled to be represented by an attorney if they cannot afford one. That is false. And it's false for two reasons. <laughs> it's first false because although the Miranda thing you hear on television and in the movies talks about that, the Miranda decision only said that you have a right to have your rights read to you. It was a previous decision, Gideon versus Wainwright in 63, that gave that right to an attorney. So it didn't give the right to an attorney, it gave the, the police the requirement that they inform people of their rights, including that one, which has gone into the statement that's always made. But it's also wrong for another reason. And mm -hmm. the other reason is, and I, one group was actually talking about that, the business of whether it is civil and or criminal. You do Deborah, not have Deborah, right. Deborah, we should listen. You do not have a right to- a, a Sorry, Deborah. Cases. In fact, that, that's strictly up to whether you can afford it. If you can't afford it, you're out of luck. The reason you're entitled to it in criminal cases, in civil cases, they can take your money, right? Or 
uh, do other similar things. But in a criminal case, they can take away your freedom, which is why you are entitled. Gail, yeah, did you hear just to, to did you hear just yesterday or today in the news there was a, I think it was a murder case which was overturned because they decided they he wasn't properly read his Miranda rights. Well, that could be. Um, it's but he's entitled to an attorney because it's a criminal right. case, right? Um, when I did my internship, I did it in family law, and I did I was a, a mediator in family law cases for indigents because we worked for a, a uh, the, the only place in town, the only law firm in town that uh, handled um, indigents. And because of that, we were in a very awkward situation. It's one of the reasons I decided never to practice law because I would be representing one of the two client, the two people in a divorce. And if they were indigent, the other one couldn't afford a lawyer. So they were representing themselves. Mm -hmm. And what I wanted to do was get between them. And ethically, you can't do that. Ethically, you have to represent your client and what your client's interests are. So that is a place where people think we have a right that we do not have. Mm -hmm. And finally, number 10, the number of justices has not always been nine. It's ranged, but the Judiciary Act of 1869 sets the number at nine the power and the Congress has the power to change that number. And I think most of you got that. That is absolutely true. It can be changed, but it will take an act of Congress to write a new law and over. And oh, over and over. sorry, guys. <laughs> <laughs> and then I wouldn't put it past this Supreme Court to declare that law unconstitutional because they don't <laughs> like it. It's, that could it, be. It, it, they can't. The, they have the, to have somebody send it for standing. Yeah, oh, that's true. And, and they'll just they'll just tell someone to do it and they'll agree it has standing and throw it out. The, the they don't, Constitution they says don't care about reality. The Constitution says that Congress has the power to uh, set the number of justices. So they yeah. would, how could they declare that unconstitutional? The same reason they declare all sorts of nonsense. Uh, if, if you want to see something absolutely fascinating, if you haven't looked at the American Constitution in any depth, you look at, you know, Article One, which talks about the, about the the legislative branch, and it goes on and on and on. The president, it goes on, maybe not on and on. And there's three little articles and a couple of paragraphs about the courts. Right. They had no idea when they were writing it how important that was going to be in our lives. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Very good, really good discussion there, Gail. And so far, we've had three categories that have nothing to do with each other, and that was mm -hmm. really nice. I like that. Well, they both had Miranda in them. Well, two of them <laughs> had Miranda in it. That is true. Let's see if the fourth category will have Miranda in it. But let's get our Carmen, scores. Carmen Miranda. By the way, Gail, uh, there's, a, there's a text limit in the paste in Zoom and only about half of yours. Well, more than half. It's like half of nine, I think. Yeah, almost all of it. It didn't quite get it all. You can look at it. Okay, let me look and see. It got one through six. Got through. Okay, it's the rest of nine and 10. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so scores, Biden, Cicada. Eight. Three men and Karen's baby. Oh, um, I guess nine. Nine, nine. Yeah. Okay, better living through chemistry, charmistry. Yeah. Ten. Oh, uh, Beetlejuice burps. Nine. And really good heads for trivia. Ten. I think you did well on this one. Uh, you got an average of, I think, 8.5 or something like that. Good job, Gail. What the reason? <laughs> <laughs> but it's always hard to imagine how other people think of those. Yeah. Things. Supreme Court, thank you today for uh, giving us a good talk. <laughs> Look at that, 22, 22, 24, 24, and 26. So Isabella, that team that you're on is in the lead and you are gonna be the one that's going to be doing the final category. So that means I'm in your place. So I will be the one. So if it's not a category that I know anything about, I don't know, you might I may lose the lead it. to you guys. The curse is on. <laughs> you might know something about it, Susan, I don't know. No, we'll find out. You never know, okay. 
good job. So um, now no pressure or anything. Let's withdraw that and get over to, to the last category category, James. Now be kind. This is James's first time as doing this category. Yay! And he made it at the last minute because um, Karen said she needed another week and James was right there. And I said, James, you want to do a category? And he goes, uh, okay, I have some questions written. I hope that they're, I'll look at it. And he said, okay, I can do it. So be nice Thanks, to James. James. Thank you. Woohoo! All right. So I just gave you the co-host permissions. You've never done that before, I don't think, but bear with you. Well, this is a uh, easy topic, I think. It's uh... Uh, curse the curse. <laughs> no. Oh no! Don't do it. Too late. We're screwed. Um, it's uh, etymology. I'm gonna give you a list of ten words, and you just tell us tell what kind That's of insect what... it is. So it's all about insects. Great. Yes. <laughs> hey, 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 I've been waiting for insects. <laughs> <laughs> All right, James, you'll have to unmute. Just make sure you put them in the chat because I can't spell if you haven't guessed. I barely speak Hello? English. There we go. That was my plan. Okay. Yeah. Please. Words up here. Okay, those are the ten words. Uh, Ardvark, George, Stafu, Mesmerized, Barbarian, Ursula, Ostracized, Mayday, and Deathmate, and Alcohol. Come back with that. The etymology of the words. What? What? What does this mean? Plus me. Huh? What do you mean by etymology, as in country they're from, language they're from? What's the, what's the original meaning? What? Is, how does the meaning derive? What? Um, Can you give an example? Um, not one of these, but no, no. Give us Ardvark as an example. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. Um, trying to think of what would be a good example. Do you have an uh, 11th word on there that you were going to use, but you couldn't, what would it be? Like, for instance, my name, Michael, means in from the Hebrew, who is like God. Yeah. So that's why. Michael, Michael is in. The name Hebrew. Michael comes from the Hebrew, Michael, which means who is like God. So we would have so, to say that as the answer. It comes from the Hebrew, Michael. If Michael was, was like one of those, you would be like. From from the term who is like God from the mm -hmm. Hebrew for I mean I don't know how well that's why I know how, how specific James wants it. That's what well I'm... you come with an answer and uh, I mean it's it's um, pretty specific. There there it's not that uh, much variation in, in these. No, words. but like do you need the language like that was Hebrew? No, 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 no. Just like uh, you know, like if if you know it's from if it's from Hebrew, that would be good. Um, Thanks. You know, you can't just say it's a, it's from like God, but uh, something. You know. So you need the language and the original meaning. Right. I mean, yeah. Yes or no? Maybe. Like, yes. like, like the word sinister comes okay. from the Latin for the word left because left-handed yeah. people are sinister. Yeah, it's true. Mm -hmm. Oh, so we don't even have to have the Latin name to be sinister yeah. because it, it, well, that, that's not what I just heard. I heard him say it comes from the Latin, and James before said, yes, you need to say what language it was from. comes from another. You're only allowed one answer. I predict a lot of arguments once there is an answer. All right, we can do it. No, no, no. So I just like a yes or no. Do we need the yeah. language plus the original meaning? Is that, the, is that true? Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> Here we go. All right. Good luck, all. Okay.
Okay. Bar barbarian, I think, comes from barb is French for beard. Mm -hmm. Ursula Ur is, Ursula bear. is bear, yeah. yeah. Ostracize. Um, they they used to write, you know, be, when before the invention of cheap paper, you had papyrus and stuff like that. So you when a jar broke, you you got these little shards of pot, pot shards. Mm -hmm. They were called ostraca. And they were they would vote to kick the guy out. I think this was the Greeks. They would vote to kick the guy out of society. The, you know, the, the guy was a troublemaker. So they gather together and they'd write their vote on a on the ostraca. And so that that's where you get ostracized. Oh, is that from pot shards, pottery shards? Yeah, yeah, the word, yeah, from Ostraka. Yeah. And it would probably be Greek. I think so, but okay. don't don't say that. And then because I'm not sure, but it, the rest of it should cover us. Okay. Mayday is is French for help me. M oh, that's right. I have heard that. M apostrophe. Are you on our, are you with us now? Mm -hmm. M apostrophe A I D E Z. Did okay. Gavin fall asleep? Mayday. Maybe, I don't know. Okay. Uh, decimate. Yeah. You, you executed every 10th soldier or prisoner. Yeah. So deck him. Okay. That, Roman? Deck? Yeah, from the Romans. Right. Right. And alcohol. It's al. It starts with al. I think I heard this once. I don't Arabic, remember. Right? Arabic. If it starts with an A, L. So it's Arabic, but I don't know what the kahal part is. I don't. I don't. Probably recall. like um, fermented. Anything starting in A L, like algebra and Al Jazeera, Al Allah, and all that. So I don't. I yeah. Like a, a dilution. Could it be something fer fermented or? Maybe fermentation for well no remember well I don't know because I'm thinking it I don't know but what did we have for number two again for George I don't anything remember. for George but the origin of snafu where did that so that's the army military jargon like situation normal all effed up okay. In the U.S. military. What was uh, one and two? I didn't hear those. Aardvark is earth pig. It's from uh, like a Dutch. I think it said Afrikaans, that Dutch. South Africa? Yeah, South Africa. Yeah. Earth okay. pig. Ard is, Ard is earth. And five is barbarian. Beer. Yeah. Beer. From, what was George? I, I don't know. know. Yeah. I oh. I, I can't think. We don't know. Yeah. I would be Jorge in Spanish. I think it might have something to do like with God or something. Yeah. Geo. Because it's been a very it's been a very popular name for kings. Yeah. What was it mesmerized was from the French, it's, right? It's mm -hmm. Mesmer. A, a performer named Mesmer. His last name was Mesmer. Mm -hmm. And he did this, an early form of hypnotism, what, what later to became known as, so that's what it's from, his name. You don't have to figure out where it's It was name French, is. though, I believe, right? I think so, yeah. Alcohol, ethanol, ass. What do you call, like, alcohols in? In chemistry? In chemistry. Alcohols. Yeah, yeah but I, the but original what word, were they used for? The original word probably means the like dilution crazy crazy juice or something like that <laughs> yeah. you know it's the They're hydrocarbons so like a constant yeah, but that's not where the word that's the word goes back to arabic yeah it's, it's going like middle ages yeah but wouldn't it be like a right uh -huh. so george that's an odd one it's the same name in it's the same name in French. It's 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 uh, a monkey named George. There is a monkey named George, and what is it in Spanish? 
Jorge. It's Jorge, okay. Oh, I'm thinking of William, never mind. Oh, what does Jorge mean? William is Guillermo in Spanish. Guillermo, yeah. Yeah, but it, it has a meaning. Like, you are son of Rodrigo. Like, that's what Romero means. I looked it up. What is George would be. George. I don't remember a George in Hebrew in, in the Bible. But where's our King George? King Harold? Yeah, I'm, kind of, I'm, kind of, I'm trying to figure out what the Latin, what the Latin. The barbarian you said was beard. That's yeah. what. Uh, you think yeah, barbarian uh, was beard? Yeah. 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 yeah, they had beards. Yeah. And from where? That's the the, the uh, Latin. Latin. Like bearded man. Yeah, because yeah. The, the the like, does barbarian literally mean bearded man? I, That's what I'm asking. I don't know. Or does, or does it mean? From, is it, isn't it from skin, uh, the Norse or the? It, I thought the Romans. Vikings. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, barbus. Yeah, barbus. The Romans. So it's no, the barbarian is a Norse word. No, no, it's it's from Latin. Latin. Okay, that's yeah. what I want to know. Okay, so going to George again. The Romans used to call Germans barbarians. Okay, we're on George now. There used to be a lot of Georges in, in there's a lot of Georges in British history. Yeah. That's, the, that's the most popular name for But it'd have to go way, way back before that. But I don't remember it being biblical. Or no, no, Could it mean like son of the king or um, uh, um, I'm trying to think of the root. Second son of the child of the king. What happened to um, Kevin there, James? I don't know. Is he in the main room? I fall asleep. You might have to wake him up. Uh, we had to do that before. He wants to listen. Water. And then he falls asleep. You have to yell. How do I find out? Go to the main room. Go to the main room. Huh? Go to the main room. And he'll still be there. And yell at him and tell him to wake up. I I will. They, they would you can leave. You can move from room to room. That's, uh, well, no, not beer. Just like most, most people would drink alcohol because it would be sanitized water. Go in your right hand corner. It's a blue yeah, thing that so says like, leave room. Well, there you go. It would be like beer. Be, well, it would be like mead or wine. Mm -hmm. So it wouldn't be like hard spirits as we know them. Now I'm wondering if they call that alcohol. Or would they call alcohol more like the clear liquid that we know it, now? Alcohol? It probably has something to do with the intoxicating effect. I mean, that's the, the outstanding feature of, of going back to the Middle Ages, didn't understand the chemistry. They're going to make a word that says, hey, this stuff does this. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I, but I, I, know it's, I know it's from Arabic, though. The owl, the hole, whatever that is. Here comes Kevin. Yeah. Where have you been? It's about intoxicating liquid. I was half asleep. I thought so. I told James to go and yell at you. No George and <laughs> alcohol. James, we have you two. Go. You you came in a good time, Kevin, because there's only two we don't know. George, George and alcohol. George and alcohol. We know alcohol is from the Arabic. The what? Al is the Hello. He fell asleep. Could it be intoxicating liquid? I mean, we'll put that if we can't come up with anything else. Yeah, the yeah, the but I don't know, it doesn't yeah, sound like uh, it's gonna be something kind of more poetic and you know imaginative, but yeah. I don't but yeah. Yeah, or, um, you, you're gonna kick, we're gonna kick ourselves when we hear it. George might be something like guardian of the heavens or something. The guardian first, of first names of presidents. I don't know. Well, it's kings too, and it I would be older be, than that. Yeah. It could be. Is it English? No, it probably. I would think it's English. Is it? It's the same. Well, it's dramatic. It's I the think same. It's 
it might be Germanic, but it's the same in French. But they get some words from German, so. But it comes from the French. So. Okay, so let's say it's Germanic, and it means royal blood, or. I think it would be, uh, it, it might have something to do with the sun. George? Yeah. Why the sun? That's what I'm getting. It's either like of geo. <laughs> no, it would just be more of um, the the Aegis What am I missing? I, I don't get the character. We're trying the etymology of the word. Etymology of the word. Etymology. So what does George mean? Like faith from. means to to have belief. That's what my name well, literally what it means. means. Where it came but from. But where well, where it came from, but what also it means. Mm -hmm. Like your name is a port is a Portuguese in origin. It means son of Rodrigo. But where it came from, because um, so it's George is probably George. I don't is, think it'd be son of because usually sons anything that has to do with sons usually are you're don't gonna usually have like in an O, o or an A. Well, an O or an A if it's female, like Georgia, yeah. means daughter of George. Right. Mm -hmm. So if yes. it's in an O or an A and it's Germanic, it would might mean more i think i think george i don't know i don't know why i'm thinking something have a heavenly or royalty what, uh, what about king of the mountain king of the mountain Wait a minute. i mean that is along that line it means some kind it's of something like that but could it be a trick where we're like originally meant something else that was not kingly you think you think james would do that to you guys well, yeah, like the name Stuart comes from Stiward, so it's the, the person that took care of the pigs. Mm -hmm. Stuart, Stuart, all mm -hmm. that. Oh, yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Is the pig keeper. So, yeah, it's got, you know, it sounds really classy. Uh, now. George would be, uh, we just keep thinking of the royalty because of all the King Georges that have been. And then there's George Washington. Man of learning. Or learned man. A learned man? Could George be a learned man? Like geography? Nothing's, nothing's coming. Nothing. I mean, all these sound like they could be right. I, I have no idea. Nothing feels natural like like decimate. You know, you immediately think of 10. Um, yeah, that's got a strong cognate. Or mes mesmerize, you know, comes yeah, from mesmer. Yeah. So or what about obviously, wise man? George? Yeah. What about a blacksmith? A blacksmith? Because you think it sounds like Forge George? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's just as, it's just as likely as anything else. I don't know. What about herder of horses? What is a herder of horses? Oh, yeah, Horse <laughs> herder. Um, I mean, this could be the guy in charge of the pigs. I don't know. <laughs> Yeah. Sea captain, I. It could be anything. I have no clue. Farmer. Yeah, that was actually thinking that. Wait, what did you say, Rivera? Farmer. Farmer. Farmer George. Yeah. Farmer George. Yeah, yeah. Because if it's an old name, it's like an occupation. Mm -hmm. there, you know, a lot of them are occupations. Well, Forge and George. Could it have been a blacksmith? Oh, what about map maker? Geo. <laughs> oh, that's true. Geologist. No, the E just makes the makes the G soft, so you don't say gorg. Well, how about how about blacksmith? Because there, there's a forge in there. I yeah, but I like know. the E could have. I'm a, just guessed here. I don't know. Pick a, Kevin's pick a asleep. Move. Pick an ob, Pick an occupation from the Middle Ages. And slap it I'm not asleep. I just don't get it. We just have it all. Well, we Kevin, what it. what is Kevin? Night. night was the most common. Yeah. You know, all right, what Kevin. Do you know? Snap I don't even know. What it, what it, where is Kevin from? What is? I don't know any of these. Well, what is the you origin, origin of, Kevin? of Snafu? Kevin, you know the origin of Snafu? 
situation normal. No, snafu is like a mistake or something, isn't it? Yeah, situation. Yeah, situation, situation normal, normal. All effed up. All fucked up. There you go. All fucked up. Okay, yeah. That's it. And that's it's the army in origin, or American in origin. <laughs> and barbarian is a man with a beard. Yeah. So it, it, all these words are things you're supposed to figure out what is the origin of that word. And Ursula, yeah. what did we determine Ursula was origin it's of? Fair. Yeah. No, but what language? Russian? Cyrus? Cyrus? No, no, no. It's 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 Latin. Ursus. Latin. Okay. Yeah. So Ursula, 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 yeah, Ursa Major. Ursula, Ursula would Ursula. actually be a little she bear. The yeah. U would make it small. Like yeah. Caligula means little yeah. boot. Mm -hmm. Ursula Major's big big bear and Ursa Minor's little bear, yeah. Right. But Ursula would be a small a, a small bear. So okay. Romero, when am I gonna get you back to training? Oh yeah. I'm tapping on the screen at you. So George George is what again? I've been talking to uh we just have to agree and then and then if we have to about I'll make me chase you around so we can say okay. yes. I've been right talking wrong. Well, hold, could you could you hold on? I'm okay. talking Wait. to him. Well, you guys can go find your own room. We're trying to figure out yeah, what we alcohol. Have to, we, have to, we have to write down our guess so yeah. that it's either right or wrong. If we put nothing down, we're wrong for sure. We don't know. Make a guess. Okay, what are we on? George still? George yeah. and alcohol. Uh-huh. I thought we had alcohol as George, let's spirit. go with horse master or something like that. That's I think fine. it has to do with something with horses. Oh, the Actually, connection between George and alcohol is cheers. No, no. No, no. Right, George, George went. Thanks, Kevin, George went Kevin, sits at the bar and cheers. James is sitting here listening. We got to make a decision. Alcohol, I think, of spirits. From I think, it, spirits. I think it means like it's dilution of something. Because like, you use alcohol to dilute something. But would, at that time, would they have known yeah, it's, that it's, alcohol? I have no was, idea what what how it worked or what it was when you drank it it made you crazy well crazy solution there bio water crazy juice crazy bio juice. water from crazy from, from Arabic. okay and then george we're gonna say he's the all right what did, what did we decide on i heard three things crazy liquid crazy liquid okay okay and if he and, says something like it's insanity juice that counts as well because yeah. insanity liquid, insanity. okay so george we're gonna say it's Germanic, right? For horse master. For horse master. Okay. Yeah. Master of the horses. Those are our guests. And he's gonna be, it'll probably end up being a- And it probably will horse. end up being like, you know, mountain man or some crazy thing like that. Or kingly or angel or something. Okay, so I'm gonna close the rooms. Everybody's gonna yell at me, why? Ursula would be a little female bear. Yes. Uh, Seems like it's a real long night tonight. I'm glad you guys no. I'm glad you guys were here for me because I I would never know. Okay. We're, we're muted. I'm glad you guys are there because I I had no idea what this was. I would never have gotten. Etymology is my. Entomology is what? Etymology is a, a thing that I, I, it's, I'm kind of interested. It's something that always fascinated me. Well, then you're perfect for this. I studied a little. I did Latin and French, and there's a lot of cognates. And I recognize things in other languages because I, yeah, it just kind of connects up. I really kicked myself on that on that play. I I just could not come up with uh, like uh, the guy that wrote True West. Oh, it was Sam. I thought it was Sam Watterson or Sam Shepard. <laughs> no. Well, we did it in the theater department. I saw it. The guy, you know, Wood Harris. He was in The Wire. He played one of the brothers. He went. He went to the university I was at. He did a basketball movie, and then he was in The Wire. He was. Uh, oh, I forget the character's name. He was 
in the first season, the main drug dealer. He was he was in in our production of True West. Hmm. The other guy I actually worked with. We lost James. That's unfortunate. We lost James. Well, good. We what? can all decide what the answers are ourselves. Yeah, we'll just give ourselves. Everybody three. gets ten. Everybody I'm gets ten. I'm completely honest. I didn't really understand this category at all. <laughs> we got, we figured it out because I had clever people in my room. It's like umbrella comes from the Latin for little ghost because <laughs> an umbrella is like a little ghost following little around. Little ghost. Ghost or shadow. Susan, you know who's a, uh, Susan? Uh, what's her, what's his name? Uh, Hamilton's a little ghost. No, he's he's not around me that much. Well, some, I don't know, maybe somewhere. Is it a ghost or shadow? I I heard ghost. Oh, okay, I might be wrong. It's been a while. A little ghost. Okay, are you back, James? James from the ethereal. Here. I am Susan. Of you. Susan, how's Imogen? She's fine. She's been sleeping on the couch. <laughs> and until Hamilton decides he's gonna fight her. How's Ariadne her. doing? Ariadne's only peed a few times on things that she shouldn't be peeing on. Oh. <laughs> and these cats, opinion. I'm telling you. If it's not she the only cats, it's the, the cream colored <laughs> tick. <laughs> James, are you there? I see your name. James. <laughs> You know, this category could be really easy for Germans for a lot of words because they just take a whole bunch of other words and stick them together to make their words. Seriously. <laughs> Untersee boat. Well, it's German. It means undersea boat. <laughs> James. Underground Bahnstrasse. Underground train. Uh, while we're waiting, James, I would like to drop the link in the chat for those of you who would like to add your comment to Social Trivia by Susan one year anniversary chart. It is yeah, big. people. I love your <laughs> comments. No, I don't. And Susan, we, did you like and, my comments? And we love that you have been doing this, Susan. Well, thank you. Yes. I like I'm that. having fun. I've learned a lot. Boy, I tell you. Here comes James. Deborah and I were um, we were gone this weekend with a couple other friends. And as we were gone, many times we would say, you know, something would happen or somebody would be talking about something and we'd look at each other. Wasn't that a trivia question? <laughs> or that would make a good trivia question. Well, that would make it. Yeah, we had many times where we came across stuff. We went to a, we went to a bookshop that was Sherlock Holmes. Oh my God, they had Sherlock Holmes rooms, just what? all kinds of stuff. I mean, they had a Diogenes Club. They had they had the guy with the twisted lip. They, they had, had the train station. Oh, it was so well done. They had the all this like, uncle. They real, had, yeah. Genuine like, real stuff. Yeah. It was it was great detail, and it was in the little town of Jackson. You know, like six thousand people in this town, and they and they they're part of the the community of people who are um, uh, what is Trump that? supporters. So, <laughs> Some of them. Called, no, they weren't Trump supporters they're at all. I accidentally said the word name Trump when I meant I said Trump when I was talking about Sherlock Holmes and the Lagos. Ooh, so I was like, yay. Um, <laughs> Uh, the club is called, it's like a Sherlock Holmes club. Put it this way, this place was so good that it, I would think it would have been in London. Was it, it the 221B Baker Street Club? Yes. It wasn't called that, but it was, there is an official club. That it's it, all over the country. They're, um, they're very yeah. scholarship. They take it very Baker seriously. Baker Street Regulars? Yep, that was it. That was it. Was Baker, it? Street Baker Street, Baker Street yeah. regulars. Yeah. Well, so, you know, the Shakespeare Society no. of America is based in Moss Landing. So James is really? here. James. Yes. James. We can hear All you, right. James. James. I'm not going to put my uh, video on. I, I, my internet's unstable now. Okay. Um, no. Quickly so with the, the answer. James. The first. Disappear. Huh? Quickly Where? with the answers before you disappear altogether. Yes. Uh, Aardvark, late 18th century Dutch, uh, from South African Dutch or Afrikaners, Afrikaners uh, from Ard meaning earth, and Vark meaning pig. Yeah, oh, wow. 
Good one, Wilma. <laughs> Well, so so, so is, is, is ground pig good enough? Yeah, yeah, do we have to have both the the meaning and the country of origin or the language yeah. of origin? Yes, or close, you know, I mean, like, well, we, yeah, we, we, we just wrote earth pig. <laughs> we wrote earth pig, but we didn't know what language <laughs> that came from. We, you can go to Scandinavia, though. We'll be a little lenient, let's say. Right, yeah. It's, um, okay, okay so, so our t our team got the language, but not the earth pig. So if they get points, we get points. <laughs> yes, well, like, exactly. Like if you, you get one get of earth the two. pig, that's the main part. <coughs> or ground ground pig will fly, or pigs don't fly. When, when pigs don't ground pigs fly. fly. <laughs> <laughs> and I want extra points because we even knew South African Dutch. Uh -huh. Ooh. Yeah. Thanks to Will. We got Afrikaans and I can oh. spell it. A we had Dutch African too. They're so like, yeah. And, and if you notice, Afrikaans is spelled with two A's, just like Ardwa. Just like Ardwa. Good, good point. That's the giveaway. Uh, <laughs> George is uh, Greek from uh, geo meaning earth and ergo meaning work, earth worker, a farmer. Oh. oh. Given that to us. You have like a country man, a rural guy. Earth farmer <laughs> from the, from what'd you say it was from? Uh, Greek. Greek. It's all Greek to if, me. If we got the Greek and we got the earth part, is that enough? Nope, gotta get the whole thing. Oh. <laughs> we didn't get the, we got the earth, earth man, but we got, didn't get the Greek. I'm giving that to us. I'm just giving us, <laughs> I'm being very generous with my grading. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say, Gail, we weren't gonna ask, we're just gonna take. <laughs> you know, you're on, the, you're on the honor system. Um, what is that, Molan Lave or something? Come take. Uh, Thafu, I think everybody got this one. Situation normal, all fucked up. Military mm -hmm. slang. Yep. Um, the word mesmerize comes from the last name of third, eight, 18th century German physician Franz Mesmer who believe that all people and objects are pulled together by a strong magnetic force, later called mesmerism. I think every, most people got that uh, in one variation or another. I guess we're and getting that. Device, Even though we, got, we got the wrong country, but we got the concept right. So I guess that counts. You get a device right. called the mesmerizer. Oh, oh, really? Yeah, that's where that term comes from, or part of it. Mm -hmm. uh, you, know who you know who debunked him? Who? Is that Houdini? Franklin. Benjamin Franklin. Yeah. Oh. Right, huh. One of the first oh, skeptics. Okay. <laughs> was a skeptic. Yeah. Well, so you have oh, a membership in the uh, GSOW. <laughs> <laughs> Sign him up. Uh, barbarian is uh, Latin from a foreign of another nation or culture. And became the the root of Barbara. Uh, what? Uh, later became a meaning of or pertaining to savages, rude, uncivilized. But the original meaning was born of another nation or culture. Didn't have anything to do with beards. With what? Beards. beards? Well, I, I bet it is tied in with beards, but just uh, of yeah. the the origin Not of beards we, being we, things we, that I, foreigners have. No, we, like we matched them together Greek. and said they're bearded outsiders. No, and I'm, oh. up, and so I'm, I'm right. gonna say we're gonna give us a point on that one. Caspian. I looked it up on Wikipedia, and it actually means like babbling, the type of language that they speak another language. So. Yeah, it's Greek, not Latin. Okay, so we're yeah. on. We missed that one. Do Barbara Streisand fans count? <laughs> I think we I think we missed that one because we said Barbary Coast, but I think Barbary Coast probably comes from barbarian. Mm. Yes. Yeah. Well, true. actually, I think it's Berber Coast, but that uh, might still come from barbarian through. Yeah, that might be like a a Western mischaracterization of an Arabic word or something. Berber. That never happened. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, Ursula, I saw some people got half of this right. Ursula is the diminutive of the Latin word Ursa for bear. If you do not uh -huh. have a diminutive, then uh, that's not enough. 
Yes, malt, the UL. Yeah. What? So bear is not good enough? No. Oh, you yeah. have to have little bear? Little That's bear, good. yes. Little bear? I think we got bear, but I don't think no, we got little bear. Will you accept small bear? There's some minor. Small spine, yes. Yay. So, <laughs> oh no, I guess. Uh, ostracize is from the Greek. Ostr I'm not even going to try to pronounce this one, but uh, Ostracon is the, the uh, later version of it, but it's shell or potsherd on which names were written in voting to banish unpopular citizens. Ostracon, okay. mm. I think, is the singular, right? Uh, yeah, I think so. I think the plural is Ostraka or something. Did you say yeah, banish unpopular citizens? I got it. I got it. But uh, you don't case? have to have the, 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 those two words in there, just from Greek uh, meaning to banish unpopular citizens. Yeah. Uh, Mayday is uh, representing a pronunciation of the French Mayday for M A. I'll put this in the uh, ch chat here. For come and help me. I'm a A I D E. Got that one. And then uh, decimate, some people were close on that, but just missed it. Uh, it means to select by lot and put to death every 10th man. <gasps> From oh. Latin decimates, past participle of decimer, the removal or destruction of one tenth. Yep. But why? Got that one. Oh, that's awful. And decimation <laughs> was a uh, uh, tactic in war to deter um laggards or uh who, people were not fighting a, a fit uh to their full force they just kill every tenth soldier just to uh keep them uh fighting a, 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 a force. Uh nice way of doing it but uh and then the last one alcohol is from no, Arabic Al Kahol <laughs> the fine metallic powder used to darken the eyelids. <laughs> what? Oh, it's like coal. Okay, I want to. I'll have the spelling in here. I'm going to post it. Well, yeah, the mm -hmm. KOHL, the stuff the Egyptians. Is it related to that? We, yeah. we got the oh, Arabic part, but yeah, we got Arabic. No, no Arabic. we were we got Arabic, and that's the last we got. That's that was interesting to darken your eyelids, huh? Hmm. Well, what I, what we said was what I said was Arabic to sleep. Nope. <laughs> oh no, that makes sense. I think we put giggle goo goo or something. Giggle crazy liquid. Also crazy liquid. liquid. But there's so much focus. Greek on geo geo earth or the name is derived from the diminutive of the Latin Ursa, which means bear, but it but it's a feminine given name. It, to, and this yeah, is that's not good it's like um am i on, am I on? Yep. Okay. and then now peggy now you're muted oh you're sorry I, she's probably yelling <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm just on a screen about how Ursula is really a feminine name and feminine names always have to be diminutive and that irritates me. Yeah, I think just bears. I've that before. It's, I'm giving it's, us it's that okay, point. It's okay, Meg. It's okay, Peggy. Don't um, don't fret your little head about it. <laughs> <laughs> it comes from the word for bear. I'm giving us that and, point. And while we're we on, have, we had bear. Maybe maybe Peggy should be just Margaret then. Exactly. <laughs> there is a male Peggy, version of this. Female earth below. Bear. Peggy, we had a female bear, and therefore we must be right because you just said female always means diminutive. There you go. Huh. <laughs> I, I think we should get a point for the female diminutive bear. Because there is a male version, which is Ursa Low. Uh, okay. Is that not diminutive? It is. Yeah. Yeah, we had Mama Bear, so. Yeah. I oh, Mama Bear. But... All right. Very good. Lots of good conversation. Oh, I like that we... lot, as usual, I like that. And it was completely different from all the other three categories we've done today. U.S. Supreme Court, science fiction planets, American playwrights, 
and now meaning of a given word. Very good, James. It was a great you. category, James. I can see doing that again now that we understand the philosophy of what you're Aww. what it means, like uh -huh. how to do that. Mm -hmm. So good job. Write Thank another you. category like that. I it might be that. interesting to have a reverse category where you give us like the roots and we have to figure out what word it got to. Ooh. I like that. Oh, yeah. That's what I did yeah. too. Okay, so let's do our score, score, score and see who's in the lead. And it is really close right now, you guys. Use the same words. Um, let's <laughs> go with Biden's cicadas. Yeah, so I'm like, and he's trying to Nobody? Anybody? I don't hear any cicadas. Chirp, chirp. Chirp, chirp. All right, hold on. I'm counting. Fence County. Uh, for anyone interested, I put in the chat a uh, link to a PBS.org uh, treatment discussing Ben Franklin and his analysis of Mesmer. I do remember this. This, I, uh, this is thanks. good. I That's mean, he was one. really freaking people out. He was having sex with all these women, French women, and they're all like, "Oh, I had to have sex with him. He mesmerized me with his eyes." Six. All right. At least that doesn't happen anymore like that today. Never. Yeah. Thank goodness. <laughs> okay. Better living through charmistry. Seven. Seven. Yeah. Okay. Really good heads for trivia. Uh, five, Six. I think. Six? Six. Yeah. Six. Did, we, did we get bear or not? No. no. Give it to us. Well, we, we knew the answer to bear. We said it, but we wrote down less specific than we knew the answer to be. I think anyone, who, anyone who said some form of bear should get it. All right, then we got nah, it. <laughs> I don't know. That's... Okay, or Beetlejuice. We, we when it's your category, you can say that. Beetlejuice burps. Oh, give it to us. Got four. Not uh, Four. Just... All right. So, ba, 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 three men and Karen's baby. Baby? Seven or six, but seven. <laughs> I think it's really six. Uh, but the, the, we got the bear. We just didn't say the little bear. We might have said little that. Little bear is a crucial part. That, that was the. Okay. okay. I, didn't I didn't say that the bear was little. I think we have six. Not make that 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 part. <laughs> All right. Here we go. Whoops. Move this over so you can see it whenever I get to it. Now the screen's still nice and large. So Susan, remember when he used to struggle to put in the numbers? <laughs> there we go. So 26, 28, 30, 31, and 32, and they're in order. This is this is a hotly contested um uh, it's it's very so whoever close. writes very this category hard. in the future be more specific about the answer you're looking for be real what specific it, don't yeah. let us use a lot back, of it. can you put it back up it wasn't up long enough I, oh. yeah it never is susan yeah, when you, whenever enough. you put the score up it's like i yeah. I, I just i take a look at it and, and it was long no. enough for us to know we're in the lead that's yeah, all and so little, little, little little trick robin i have a smartphone as most people do and i snap it whenever she does it so i oh, have well, that's good that's <laughs> smart of you you, I don't want to be reminded. <laughs> look at look at Bob right now. He's got horns over his head. The moon, the side of the moon, go like this. They look like horns on his head. Uh, right. Loki. It's a Loki. If anyone's watching the new series. Yes. Oh yeah. Okay, so I'm I'm sharing it now. All right. Good job. Last but not never least is going to be our Isabella, who in a in a few months is going to lose us. I'm not going to lose you. I actually. I, you just had enough to go to college so you can stay for trivia with us? Susan, no, Susan, listen to me. I actually scheduled my classes around so I'd have time to study so I can do <laughs> trivia still. Yay. Thank you. Right. So I might not be here for the whole thing, but I'll try to at least stop in for the last two rounds or so. That's anyway. awesome. That's, that's so awesome. Yeah, I'm, I tried. Okay, that's great. Okay, all right, here we go. So Isabella is going to do bonus category. Lord knows we're 26 spread from 26 to 32. So it's a pretty narrow spread. Not like some of the ones we've had in the past. Yeah. Depending on the, what she does. If we no get pressure. all 10 and Leonard's team only gets three, we're good to go. Mm. Don't, don't screw us, <laughs> Isabella. Okay. Well, it's me. 
So it's for the this curse. Category, the curse. So for, this, so for this category, actually, Susan and Deborah's trip inspired me. Ooh. <laughs> for this category. I'm just going to paste it in here. So out of the 423 parks in the national park system, this is based on the 2019 data because 2020 it was you know as everyone knows like a shit show um there were 62 with the with the with the name designation national park give me a list of the top 10 most visited national parks in 2019 oh okay we can do this in canada <laughs> in the united states <laughs> uh, this so. also includes um just for where like not like you know it also includes the national parks that aren't like necessarily in the united states but in like the territories like i know there's one in guam i think there's another mm -hmm. one yeah, yeah. Oh, so are, these are any of the top 10 but you're anywhere still looking at u.s national parks u.s mm -hmm. i'm sure yeah. the one in guam is canadian the top 10. yeah but just to yeah as an example okay got yeah, it as an example okay everybody we can do this let's pull this off and come in we Won't be algonquin i don't want people to break out oh wait susan are you gonna get that mic? susan i don't have powers okay i'll give you powers right now i gotta give um james has got to go to his team because he got okay out. i see it i think i see it did i give it to you yes you did Thank you, right. Susan. Bye, everybody. I'm Don't gonna mess go up and my mess team. up Isabella's team. <laughs> Don't mess up my team. You'll make me cry. <laughs> Hi, Susan. Oh boy, national parks. I have Just, nine, maybe ten, if Zion and Bryce are separate. They should. Well, there be. you go. I'm done. <laughs> Yo, Smite. The first Yo, June Smite. went out Yo, west. Smite. <laughs> The native First. greeted them, yo, semi. <laughs> so it's got, and Yellowstone's got to be up there too. Um, oh, Ellis, Yellowstone. Ellis Island? That's is that a cool. park or is that a Ellis monument? Ellis Island is a national park. That's not a national park. No, it isn't. Glacier? Sure. Uh, Glacier. Grand, Grand Teton? Yeah. Grand Canyon. <laughs> Grand Canyon. Grand Canyon before Grand Teton. Yeah. Well, but, but Grand Teton will be there. Probably. So do um, we have to have a bear with a with a uh, like a picnic basket for jelly is, is the National Mall considered a park? No. Yeah, maybe, yeah. I don't think it's a park. It's no, I don't think it's so. not a national park. What about Zion and Bryce? Is that one or two? Two. There it's two different ones, and I'm willing to put them both. And the last two on my list are the Badlands and Arches. Arches, oh, arches for sure. Archers, but I'm not sure about the bad. I'm not sure about. Bad I don't know land. about the Badlands. Um, and how about Sequoia? How about right Ever? Right now. How about Everglades National Park? It's in it's in Florida. No one goes there. <laughs> but it's, I think it's Just, there's, Are there's, there any like, like in the East Coast? Like, if there's anything in New York, I don't know that there is, but it would be just because of the number of people out here, the density. Yeah, but they all uh, stay in the Stephanie. city. Everglades. Yosemite. No, it's, it's not Yosemite. Park. It's Yosemite. <laughs> the first Jews went out west. They were greeted. <laughs> may, I suggest, may I suggest we pull out the ones that we have consensus on so we know how many slots we're uh, discussing? Okay, so I think Yosemite, we probably all agree on. Yeah. Yellowstone. Yellowstone, Yellowstone we all agree on. Right. Glacier, we all agree on. I'm not sure what Jellystone is. For so Yogi Bear that, Lips. Yeah, that that's out. yeah, take that out. <laughs> Grand both, Canyon for Grand sure. Canyon for both sure. both Grands are good. Arches, I think, is one of the top. I think I remember seeing that someplace. Arches is very much okay. So move up arches below Grand Canyon, maybe. Well, they're all I mean we just if we right now we have what is that eleven? Eleven. So, what is Arches? I'm not even. I, I, that is not even a name that's familiar. It's in St. Louis, where they have that big arch. No, ignore oh. him, Alan. Please. Have you seen pictures of the of the landscape with the rock formations that are like 
They look like arches in Utah. And they're red. The thing is, when people go to um, a certain Western tour, they go to certain national parks. They go to Bryce, Zion, and Arches, and the Grand Canyon. So those suck in the same set of tourists, and thus they they have, that, that's a cluster. If they were, they're very close together. Grand Canyon, Bryce, Zion, and Arches are very close together. So uh, if you're going to when one, people, you're likely to go to the other, she's saying. Exactly. So, so um, that's why, uh, you know, they, they're, there's going to be, well, they're just. A what is the show. formal name of Arches? It's National Park. What do they call so it's it? It's called Arches National Park. Okay. So you, you know, know. up when we're done. I, I've I, never been, but I know it's. I suspect that Everglades is not on that list. But you know what? She told us one of them is in a territory. None of these are in a territory. She, did she did say she that? Say no. That she or, did they no, could she, that, it. she said she that said territories are fair game. Do we need no, the top? Are. are we getting the top ten or just ten? Top. We were asked for the top ten. Top yeah. ten in terms of visitors in 2019. So, could can you think of any territories just on the off chance that is there one in Alaska per se or that's ooh, not ooh, a territory? Like, that's a state. <laughs> I know okay, so I'm like, saying that you wouldn't normally think Denali, that. Denali, Denali Park. Denali, is, but you know, Denali, uh, it, it's, a, it's a wonderful thing, but it's not going to have the huge numbers. Yeah, it's really it's hard the to get there. 10. Okay. Yeah, you okay, can how about not, in Hawaii? Not that many people go. Is there a national park Ooh, like Diamond Oh, yes, Head there or? is. It's Volcano. called Vol Volcanoes National Park. That's Volcano probably. Park. Where's that? Where, Hawaii. Where's that? Hawaii, the big island. It's not, it's not. Um, but that's Diamond the Head? same. Hang on, but that would be the same as Denali. Not everybody's going to get to Hawaii. Yeah. True, but I'm and more I, people I, 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 the ones that are like drivable are people are going to be driving through. Or I, I wouldn't say the Big Island is a big draw. If it had Why been a long time, I would say yes. Because we got screwed last time because we didn't add little to it, so I'm, I'm not taking any chances. <laughs> well, you know, uh, okay. So in terms yeah, of volcanoes, not, national park, it's not spelled um, exactly the way it's spelled not not that many people go there i think probably because most tourists in hawaii go to oahu and volcanoes national park is on the big island yeah i don't so think it's going to be as popular it doesn't have the kind of traffic i mean it's a wonderful place i've been like there. You said also, you some people drive. are rationally afraid of volcanoes and i went to the badlands before and it was a vast beautiful area but there was nobody there. nobody there yeah <laughs> I, you know, I, but speaking you, of volcanoes, because we have a minute, have you guys been looking at the volcanic yeah. eruption in Iceland on these yeah. live webcams? Wow. Pretty spectacular. I have been watching kind of closely, and it's just unfucking believable. It's oh, it's, it's amazing. amazing. It is amazing. Um, Absolutely amazing. So um, loving it. I'm I'm trying to figure, trying to think of something to replace Everglades. I bet there's a lot of people. I just that, pulled a video of it, Robin. So I'll look at it in a minute. That looks like something. Tons else. of tourists go to Florida, and even if there's does a visitor count? Like if you're over driving through, let's drive in, let's drive out. Exactly. You know, no, in Florida. I mean, there's just a huge number of people in Florida, and also there's a huge number of European vacationers that go to Florida. Florida. Uh -huh. I don't know why they go to Florida. I mean, I don't know why anyone they would watch, go to Florida. They watch too much American television. <laughs> but wait. <laughs> But like German tourists and French tourists and Someone European tourists go to Florida. Someone said the National Mall. It didn't go on the list. That's not a national park, though. Okay. You know, I'm I, I'm really thinking that the Nali ought to be up there because people do. It is a destination. People do go up. To, a lot of people still do go to uh, to Alaska, and when they go to Alaska, many will. Uh -huh. Most will go try and get up to Denali. So put up Alan's idea. We can discuss it, right? No. <laughs> <laughs> All right, fine. I've never heard of it. Am I correct that we're discussing Arches, Sequoia, Everglades, and Denali? I mean, we're we can discuss. I don't any think. Of them, I don't. I, I don't think there's any question about the first eight listed here. 
So we're discussing Sequoia Everglades. We're arguing about the last two. We're now at a last three. So we got Yosemite, Grand Canyon, Yellowstone, Glacier, Grand Teton, Zion, Bryce, Arches. Well, we only have to take one off. That was Actually, the first wait, eight. Yeah. And now we got to get the last two. Yeah, I'm pretty sure Sequoia is in there. I'd be willing to. I, I'm, I'm down for Sequoia and Everglades. Yeah, I'm down for Sequoia. I don't think Everglades is in there. And I'm willing to bet. I've never heard of a national park of the Everglades. Everglades National Park. I've not heard of that. I've heard of the Everglades many times, often, but not as a national park. Is it? Yes, it is a national park. There's Big Bend National Park. Oh, there's a there's many of them. I forget what she said in I mean, the. Yeah, uh, there's a million of them. I want to let everyone know that I've decided that if it's not spelled exactly the way it's listed in the official uh, park handbook, then it will not be counted. <laughs> and I will also dock points if it's if it's not spelled every if, if it's not spelled perfectly. Yeah. Right. Yeah, we we'll really believe in that, Isabella. <laughs> okay, this is. I'm getting a little late to the party here. But adjacent to Sequoia is Kings Canyon, and it's pretty close to L.A. Oh, what Kings Canyon? That? Is what that a national park? Yes, it is. Kings Canyon National Park. Yep. Kings Canyon? Yeah, Kings Canyon. I think that's more likely than the one in Hawaii. I mean, in uh, uh, Alaska. Alaska. Yep. So what, what about Death Valley? Is Death Valley a national park? Yes, Monument. it is. Oh, National National Monument. You're right. Okay. National Monument. Little lighten up is. <laughs> <laughs> oh, how about Joshua Tree? Isn't that a national park? Is it, or is it a no, that's monument. a national monument also. It's a monument. Did I also. miss anything while I was making jokes? Um, yeah, there you, should be an miss... extra space after number one period space. And you need to take all the littles out. No, I like the littles. So, but, but so, that's going to make the spelling wrong. <laughs> we don't care. Here's the thing: we don't turn them in. <laughs> it's, it's all on the. I mean, it's now. Are, are there no East Coast uh, parks besides Everglades? So there's Acadia National Park. Yeah, I Maine. maybe that that sure. might, I think that's there. There, think there are East Coast parks, but they're all ugly. <laughs> right, but there's a lot of people, you know. People don't flock there in their RVs. And the How do you think we're RVs. doing so far, Isabel? Do you like our list? Is she in our group? No. Little uh, light enough. Uh, <laughs> I've actually decided to increase my, uh, it, every period, every comma has to be perfectly how it's spelt in the handbook. <laughs> Otherwise, we'll be banned from trivia for the next two weeks. And we get a zero. And <laughs> That's going to be really hard for me to be banned from so trivia. Here's, so here's the thing, friends. Going to decide. We've decided we're we're talking about a certain stack of them, but how will we decide? Is Kitty Hawk like on the, no. on the out there uh, or that area or out Little there? Little power trip. <laughs> <laughs> That's one of my favorite national parks. <laughs> I'm the one typing it. We are recording this. Just saying. Yeah. Okay. Other people will be able to watch. No problem. It'll be thank the you, uh, thank you, thank you, Mike. It'll be the it'll be the most appealing part of, of all of the <laughs> be, Abusing TV my power. Show. We're gonna do a TV show. It's gonna, it's gonna, gonna go be a viral. reality TV show called Susan Social Trivia. And Susan, you guys all be the reality, characters on the show. Susan, it's going if we're viral. Do a reality show, we're gonna need a bit more <laughs> drama than just this. We need some like screaming and yelling and no no no. This no network is gonna pick us up. This is hilarious. If we want to like picked a, up by Bravo turn into a, a spoken like TV a little show. power trip again. <laughs> Stupid skull. Need some garden. screaming. How about Melania's Rose Garden? Oh. <laughs> it's okay, but a little Melania. Well, no, you, you got to remember if it's Melania's Rose Garden, it's the best Rose Garden. <laughs> well, little oh Melania's God. best Rose Garden. <laughs> the best. Uh, how about Bears Ears? Bears Ears? Is that a national park? Well, there's there, like Escalante National Park. There, there's got to be something in Colorado. 
I think Beers. Oh, Bears, oh wait a minute. Oh, 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 Rocky yes, Mountain Steve's National Park. Rocky, Rocky Mountain, Mountain National Park. Rocky Mountain. Rocky, yes. Yeah. Yeah. We, we that's one of the. Of that's part, one of the. So it wouldn't be a big. Rocky Mountain National Park. That's one of the. Two. Yeah, I would. I would put that up in yeah. place of Everglades. Okay. Well, just, I agree. Uh, I agree. All right. So. All right. We, we probably should start. They're getting know. close to that notion. No. Okay. All right. I'm going to take out all the joke answers. Oh, man. I know it's fun, but. <laughs> well, we got we're to starting. Of it, so it's okay. Um, I think. Not Denali. I would Denali put the Canyon a... before, before Rocky Mountain. Yeah, I think Denali, I think not enough people are going to go to Alaska. Yeah, not just not enough people. There's not enough people in Alaska, and not enough tourists to go to Alaska. Okay, you don't see a lot of Germans going to Alaska. Are we no. voting, or is it just the people who are assertive enough to speak? <laughs> so well, Acadia, that, that is, Acadia. That's is the way the real list. decisions are made, Karen. <laughs> Karen, you know that. I'm very. Uh, you know, I'm. Uh, I'm still. I'm, very, I'm still in um, favor of Everglades, though, because it's just. A, a place in the United States where there's a lot of tourists. I think. Okay, so if Everglades goes in, so I right think now, Everglades is James out. Canyon and Acadia are down at the bottom. So if we want to move them up. We got to take something out. Acadia is definitely not in the top 10. Okay, I I'm have just a, saying it's a national park. I have a suggestion that we take the four or five that are not, that we don't have agreement on, and we vote for two of them. Okay. Susan, my powers have been taken away because I accidentally logged myself out of the meeting. I was wondering where you were. So I was trying to send everyone back, but then I just like left. So because oh, um, we're not, we on, we're almost done, but we're not. Yeah, done. can you uh, restore my powers? But don't take oh, us away. Oh, yet. how the mighty have fallen! Oh, I don't know if I can do that. Let me see. I like our I like our number one through ten. All right. I I like that. Just forget. I the, can't seem to do it. Everything that yeah. comes after ten. Yeah, one through ten Yellowstone looks Glacier, good. Glacier, Teton. I think Canyon, 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 Canyon above Rocky, Rocky Mountain. Rocky Mountain, Kings Canyon. I like those. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so, seven, eight, um, five, I would put. Hang on, guys. I would just put. Uh, I put Acadia in there. In, in place of maybe only because some of these I've never heard of, and I figure I'm not okay. the only person who would have not heard of them. Which one do we want to take out in favor of Acadia? None okay. of them. I know. I, mean, I Acadia is not we should on the take top out, I think we should put Kings Canyon in and take out Rocky Mountain. Okay, I suggest that we take the first eight that we've agreed on okay. and vote for two of the next four. Okay. Okay. But I think in, in, in voting, I think Everglades should be in the vote. Sequoia, okay, so let's, okay, so Rocky for Mountain. Everglades, you gotta have let's we'll just say you have to have four people to concur. Susan, can you send everyone back? I will in a second. We're voting. We're still okay. we're still working on this. All right. Is there anyone besides Robin who would like Everglades added back to the list? No. Okay, so no. Alan said yes. Uh, Alan did say yes, but then okay. how many votes do I get here? Because I may have to change that. <laughs> Everyone get, said so at Everglades. I want to recount. Basically, if you want to change, you got to get three, two people at least to agree with you. Because I'm sort of, I don't really know the parks. So if there's any three people that want to make a move, tell me what it is. Well, if I said the only thing that I can think of that I, that I would want to put on the list is Acadia. Okay, so what would you have it replace? Um, and what other two people agree with that? I like wanna... I like that top ten list. I like that. I like those ten. Okay. I vote for those ten. Okay, let's let's do a vote. How many people think the top ten we have is good? I'm going to say yes. If you care. Okay, All right, so I'll go. Got... I'll go. I'll go with that. All right. Oh, so that's thanks, that guys. I got outvoted. I didn't get to There's, vote. Here's, I hey, I run this thing. You're not I even part get, of like, the five team votes team. count on me, huh? You're, you're just. Uh, I right, just thought the only thing is, is I thought Kings Canyon would probably outdo Rocky Mountain. Here's the great thing. You know though. what? We'll find out. 
if you're if you if you get outvoted and you're right you get that you, what's better than winning is the satisfaction of being right when everyone else was wrong that's true and you guys are all my witnesses and i'm recording this <laughs> Yeah, but you're just going to edit this. No, no, I'm, I'm, I I'm don't have joking, the patience. Susan. I don't have the patience. So you All can right. actually, when you watch the video, you can actually watch the breakout rooms too? Well, no, you just the one she's in. the breakout in. room I'm in. Ah, all right. So, so, you know, so in theory, we watch every, I get to watch every, the person watching the video will see everybody. It's just that yeah. you only see this one. Well, big morning. <laughs> Oh, yeah. is that national? I was just talking about Custer. So, is that a national park? That's in. I don't, uh, I don't think so. Kansas, isn't it? Uh, I'm sure, they've got some sort of plaque there or something. It's in the Dakota somewhere. North yeah, Dakota. south. I think. I haven't finished the book. I just started the first chapter. So we drove through there on July Fourth, and it was snowing. Whoa! Where? Bighorn. Oh, what wow. state was it in? Bighorn. South Where Dakota, I think. Bighorn. Oh. Yeah. And just just asking, Mount Rushmore is a monument, not a state, not in a state park, right? Right. Mount Rushmore is a travesty. But it, is it in a state park or a national park? I think it's a, just a national monument. Okay. So it's not sitting in a national park that would have its own national visitors. park. Right. It's not far from the Badlands. Badlands National Park. Uh, which is gorgeous and, uh, as Robin said, empty. Yeah, yeah, I I remember that. Uh, yeah. <laughs> okay, so I'm fine with this, except that I like the other one, but that's okay. I'm happy with the, the first nine. Okay. I've been to enough of these national parks and enough of the ones that are not on this list to know where the crowds are. You know, you you know that you have to make. If you want to get into the Awani, for example, you have to make an, uh, a reservation one year in advance. Right. To where? The, to Iwani. the Iwani. I mean, just to get—I mean, just to get a reservation anywhere in in Yosemite, you got to make you got to get on the website one year in advance. They open up one right. year in advance, and if you're not yeah. there, it's like getting a Springsteen ticket. You're kidding. You got to get there one year in advance. Yeah. What is it that's it, what? I thought else, forget <laughs> about it. Forget no, it, it, about it. It's it's for the things that for which you need to get reservations, and you You're don't not, have to get reservations. Like you can just everything. go and you can look. You at can it. just you go in, right? Right, right. You right. can drive in. And if you want a room, if you want a room in the Iwani, that's hard. One okay. year in advance. Yeah, I've done it. All right, you know, good job, everybody. I mean, one thing that's not listed here, which I'm not suggesting should go in, that is just breathtakingly beautiful, is Crater Lake. Oh, I've been there when I was a kid. I can't God, remember, but gorgeous. I do remember going. That's in Oregon. Not... Susan's here. I'm Yay. here. Hey, people are coming she... back. Is she like? All right. I hear somebody talking. Who is it? It's not just somebody. It's not just Isabella. Hi. I'm oh, here. Hi. Oh, I'm here. You need a background or something. Come on, put some flowers or something. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Get a, get a I'm gonna come and tile I your back up. wall. <laughs> put some, put some, is, um, something pretty up there. Isabella's iPad is doing Isabella something. got a new iPad for graduation and she still doesn't oh. know how to use it properly. Oh, nice. Nice. Okay, there, oh, there you go. Fancy. Oh. Very nice. This is where I was in Hawaii. Now you got to go put on your bathing suit. <laughs> yeah, so okay, okay, here we go. Isabella, go for it. So, let me go to Google Docs and read the list. Okay. 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 Number one, we have the Great Smoky Mountains National Park. Smoky Mountains. Good thing we added that one. Right. <laughs> Number two is Yellowstone National Park. Three is Zion National Park. Three, no. Yeah, oh. sorry. Four is Rocky Mountain National Park. Uh -oh. Five, five oh, is Grand Tele Teton Teton. 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 National Teton. Park. Teton. Um, Teton. Rest. 
it's the Sam. etymology of that. That was a good one. Should have been for the etymology. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. <laughs> Six is Grand Canyon National Park. Seven is. I don't even know how to pronounce this. Um, Chicago Valley National Park. Cuyahoga. Cuyahoga. Okay. That's Sorry. Ohio. National they have park. one. Really? It's I on this list, it. apparently. Apparently, it's the most visited national park in 2019. I don't know oh, what's okay. there. Gonna, I don't even know what is there. Does anyone know what's there? That's Cuyahoga River, Ohio. Oh, Cuyahoga is where my family's from in Ohio. The river that burned. That's yep. right there. the river that burned. Mm -hmm. And created the, led to the creation of the EPA. Ooh. Yeah, that's Ooh. true. Andy Newman. Um, and then we have that was seven, eight. We have Arcadia National Park. As seen here. Not, nine. We have Ooh. Olympic National Park. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Where is that? What? Yeah. Where's Olympic National Park at? Washington. Washington. It's, it's up here. in Washington. Oh. Isabella, we, we didn't think it got enough action. people. Isabella, can you post the link? I didn't think it had enough. Yeah. That you got this from? Yeah. Um, it's from the National Park website. Ooh. And then. I mean, it's 10, a beautiful national park. I just didn't think yeah. everybody. Yeah. Think we'll go. 10 is uh, Joshua Tree National Park. Oh. oh. They blew it, man. What was going on? Let me go and find the link right now. Actually. We did awful. Was, wait a minute. What was about Yosemite? Yosemite? Yeah, Yosemite. Yeah, Yosemite was on the list. What? Wow. I don't know why. I looked on three, I looked on like, it wasn't on the list for 2019 or 2018. It was on the list for 2020. So maybe it's because Yosemite is such a pain in the ass to get in as we were just talking about. And these other ones like in Olympia, people just go down there to walk their dog and that's a visit or something. Uh, maybe that uh, year. It's out, they, yeah, it's out on the Olympic Peninsula. It's out on the- they also yeah, It's not easy to get to. Didn't they have the big fires in? Uh, I was gonna say, were there any fires? Stone? No, oh, that wasn't. I didn't, that was that was over on the Cascades. Yeah. So there is a difference between there's visited parks and then there's visited national parks, and according uh, to this list, um, okay, let me copy this. Because I was kind of surprised by the list too, actually. Central Park. <laughs> <laughs> I, hey, Central Park's two blocks from me. <laughs> so Cent Central Park is the national park of the of the country of New York. That's right. <laughs> the country of New York City. Yeah. People don't go to Yosemite because of the well, that's that's Yosemite. So this is 2020. <laughs> oh, it is. I must have got anti-Yosemites. <laughs> Anti-Yosemite. Uh, yeah. Yeah, this is 2020. Was Yosemite closed for, uh, because of the fires at some point? Uh, occasionally, yeah. They close a lot. Yeah, that's why they... She did give us the uh, link that she, she told us where she got it from, so we could have known about that. You know, I think, um, actually, I think, Karen, you said that they were closed. I think they were, because I, I know there was... We have some family that lives out there, and they were, um, I think, one, they were posting on Facebook that the, the park was closed. 2019. The link you gave is for 2020. Yeah, I found the 2019. And by the way, I'm, I'm totally confused about this thing about it being a park and a national park because some of them so, are on both lists. How could the same thing be on both lists? Because you could be both a park, and it, all national parks are parks. But well, some of the national, national parks, parks also have the parks. There's different, um, I think there's different qualifications. So some qualify for both and some only qualify for so, like the park. Like there's right. Golden Gate Recreational Park, which is still run by the park system, but it isn't recognized as a national park. And That's some, the of it, some of it has to do with who runs it. Because Good point. In Las Vegas area, we have the Red Rock National Conservation Area. Because yeah, it's not run by the park system, so, so it's not called a national park, even though it's national. Could somebody put up the That's and the Redwood, they said they just found Redwoods National uh, Park is both a national park and a state park. 
I want to know why science fiction planets is easier than figuring yeah. out parks or national parks. <laughs> I have hope it's because of the government. <laughs> Cuyahoga is not on this list. It was Glacier. Yeah. Glacier is there. And Yosemite is there. Yeah. Um, wait, which one? For 2019. Which are we yeah. What? Well, yeah, I you found have to the, scroll down. So I've, I found two other Park. sites that corroborate your numbers, Faith. So, so like two other prominent sites that came up in the top five. Google hits for 2019 yeah. National Park visits. Right. And this is from the National Park Service. So exactly. that's, that's, that's the primary the source. Park. So that's yep. the yeah, so, so, yeah. so the answer should be Great Smoky Mountain, Grand Canyon, Rocky Mountain, Zion, Yosemite, Yellowstone, Acadia, Grand Teton, Olympic, and Glacier. Right. Okay, so we can just go after that. That was my that's a good one. That's that's the twenty that, that's what, the uh, 2019 okay. list. Okay. Right. That's the one that's the year we're going with, right? Yeah, we can go with that one. That was, my, that was my mistake. That was made the list. Great Smoky bad. Mountains, Grand Canyon, <sighs> Rocky Mountain, Zion National, Yosemite, Yellowstone, Acadia, Grand Teton, Olympic, and Glacier. Can we see some, okay. a link to where that is written out? It's in the uh, chat. It's also on the list that somebody just faith just shared. Okay. Yeah, it's it's in the it's in the, the chat that faith just it says put in. top ten most visited national parks and it's the national right. park service dot geov date dot gov. Right. And it's and it's twenty nineteen visitation numbers. And that's the link. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, okay. Wow. wow. First That's place you don't have, have to pay Oregon. to get into Great Smoky Mountain. <laughs> First glacier. Montana. Just south of yeah, it. It takes up quite a bit of Montana. Montana. Like if you drive through Montana, <laughs> yes. you pretty much can't miss it. What is there to do in Montana? <laughs> Not much, oh. except Glacier National Park. It's just Glacier is beautiful. Yeah. It's so, beautiful. Burgers. so why oh. is the Great Smoky Mountains like triple almost everything else? Because well, I know it's, it's, like, it's on the east. On the east coast. There's a yeah. large population centers it's concentration like Great on that Smoky part Smoky of the Mountains country. is literally three hours from us, and you can drive through the thing without knowing you're there, and you do not have to pay or check in with the parks pass. It is free to go to Great Smoky Mountains. Meanwhile, you have 70, you have to pay. Meanwhile, it's $30 to get in like the other ones. 12.5 million compared to- A lot of people. 6 mm -hmm. million in Grand Canyon. It's also very, they're also but That's where we vacation all the big. time. It's, it's big, it's, big. it's, it's huge. huge. It's, you can go um, like- and, and you can go yeah. from Tennessee, North Carolina. Mm -hmm. So something. Rob, did we get, we got eight? I am just so eight. freaking confused because I was marking we yes, yes and no on my list. Because so we, we missed Olympic and we and had glacier. removed Glacier. We removed Glacier, we So yeah. those okay. are the two we missed. Okay, so we got it. What I want to know is if you have one of these, you ah. get in free right here. Ooh. Yes. Oh. <laughs> so what I want to know is if, if the Great Smoky Mountains is something you could drive through without having to pay and you could just go in and you don't even realize you're there, then how do they track how many people are actually attending? Cameras, Susan. The, the, the NSA. <laughs> just know. I'm, or, I'm, or, or, I'm if or if you've been vaccinated, they, you know, it's like the little, little chips. And yeah. they didn't, they, <laughs> didn't have the, they didn't have the 5G chips in us <laughs> yeah. in 2019. Oh, that, that is true. Well, actually, so they would have us believe, you know, you don't know for sure that they have rock. trained squirrels that scratch a little scratch on a tree every time someone enters the park. <laughs> that was actually one of Jared Kushner's jobs. They had him sitting in a little booth down there by the and door. What they, how they probably get this, Susan, is that the park is over 5 million acres. Um, and Dollywood is located inside the park. Yeah, oh. Like Tennessee. Oh. So there you go. So this is how the, it, it pulls a lot, like, I have friends that go to Gatlinburg for their anniversaries and other things. And, you know, it's like, so there's a lot to go and do over there. And so, so they, not just like so they have some way of, they've got some way of tracking to see how many, yeah, how many like, people are going there to go skiing, how many places people are going to these parks and wow, different time of the year. Sounds like they cheat. Yeah. 
Well, just, I mean, Yosemite, if Yosemite I mean, is, compared to the other, has yeah. got like only so many places, ways of getting in compared to, it sounds like, like, well, yeah, it's like, you yeah, it's, it's like if Disneyland were in the middle of a national casino. park. Mm -hmm. There's a casino in this park too. Olympic exactly. National <laughs> Park's the same <laughs> thing though. He's located. That's true. Olympia? There are a bunch of casinos in Olympic National Park because there are a lot of uh, reservations in in yep. the national park and, and you drive or, through yeah. olympic and it's it has two sections you know wait so. i thought you said you could just drive in you don't need reservations <laughs> well if you're having a question if you're if you're really questioning whether or not you should be spending time then you have a reservation 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 yeah, yeah. all right so as opposed so, to a reservation reservation is are we still talking about the Great Smoky Mountains? I'm confused. I don't know. I thought I'm talking about I, I no, just did a comparison. A yeah. Oh, okay. That, that's did a it. Washington State thing where like gambling is illegal throughout the state and except for on reservations. So uh, therefore, same in California. reservations are the only place where all the casinos are. But I'm not sure why. Okay. No, so for reference, a lot of places, but it, it is definitely it's definitely very prevalent and very prominent in Washington as a thing. Yeah. Okay. You know, this is all. Well, I was going to say Algonquin, Algonquin Park in Ontario is. I just looked it up. It's 22,955 square kilometers, and um, that's about a city block. Smoke. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, also, sorry, 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 sorry. My apologies. Square miles. Yeah, and so just shy of three thousand square miles, and Smoky Mountain is just shy, or is eight hundred square miles. So, and seventy miles of the Appalachian Trail go through this park. Oh, so if you're just going to go walk the Appalachian Trail, there's an Appalachian everybody, every, squirrel. Everybody squirrel marking, marking it off. Appalachian. Pronounced Appalachian. Appalachian. Do I have to say Appalachian? I, no. I that man visiting your Brazilian mistress. I had a t-shirt that said Appalachian, not Appalachian. Oh, yeah, yeah. So, Appalachian. Which was Appalachian. Appal like Appalachian Spring. Um, okay, so the, I think we've discussed it to death. Let's get. But how would Hermione Granger say it? It's Appalachian, not Appalachian. What's the entomology? The entomology is way too much. Hermione Grange. So how do how do the local insects pronounce it? <laughs> Particularly the cicadas. How do the cicadas say that? Very, very loudly. The, very the, loudly. Black, the black the flies in Algonquin <laughs> Park. It okay. Could be the cicadas. I'm about to do Ira. scores. Scores. You remember scores. this? The game. We are playing a game that we're keeping score. What? We're playing a game? What? When did so that start? I want to know. I don't think score is that important. Score. And we're going to try to start with the Beetlejuice first. That's seven. All right, seven. Really good heads for trivia. I believe it's eight. Yeah, that's correct. Eight. I There's believe. I believe. <laughs> oh, that's triggering, Susan. Don't do that. <laughs> Biden cicadas. I don't know what cicadas sound like. I've, I have not, I have no idea what you guys, I've seen it on the they're news. Keep talking about this. They're obnoxious. And I've heard that there was a, that Biden's plane tried to take off and they had cicadas on it or something. <laughs> they, and, they, and, and they were like, you do not have a pass. You do not have a vaccination. So you cannot go. You cannot be here. You cannot Please. be here. You get off of our plane. Okay. None Susan, of the were wearing Susan, if you want to know what cicadas sound like, the Skeptic's Guide to the Universe every week does the what's that noisy? And they play a noise and people have to figure out what it is. Well, they announced this month, this week in their program that the noise from last week, which they will play again, is cicadas. Okay. Uh, it's really ooh, awful. And interestingly, uh, most people thought it was some sort of a science fiction laser. Oh, we don't have them in California, do we? No, Thank we goodness, no. no, we okay. do not have them in California. And if you've never lived outside of California, you probably have never heard them. But I they're super that. prevalent on the East Coast and, and also in, they're really in loud. Panama for a while. And in like, uh, neotropical forests, they're ubiquitous, just like they are on the East Coast. They so, they're, like, they're also, yeah, they're also loud. They're also very, uh, there's also a large population in Japan, too. Oh. So why are they around only every 17 years or whatever? There's That's different one there's, species. It there's would take way species. too long. 
They're here every. They're here every year. But every but summer just, on the East Coast. Coast. I thought we were doing scores, Susan. I was trying to, but I was, I was talking trying about to say it's it's almost I, two o'clock here. I don't know. I don't know. About having the after trivia conversation before scores. Okay, cicadas, people. I think we had six. Seven. seven. I have seven. This Based upon the updated one. list that we got from that link. Oh, okay. all right. Seven. We'll go seven. Seven. Better living through charmistry. Uh, Mora. Okay. Seven. Charmist charms. Get it? Charmistry. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. It's in the we, wrist. We got. We got seven, Susan. All right, seven. I'm seeing a trend. Three men and carrying this baby. I think we have seven, seven also. Seven. Yeah. Wow. Really good heads for trivia. Got one point more than everybody else. So that that means they go. Oh, so we win. So we win. No, so I don't think we're going up for. Missed it by that much. And I'm, my but hands are very, very far close. apart. 33 to 39. Mm -hmm. Six. six all That's all really right. close. That is a very all good right. score for you all. Wire to wire, to wire guys. Second place. Yeah. One, yeah. two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Second. I should take a picture of that. I, I've never seen that before. What? <laughs> what? I'm on a winning team. Oh, <laughs> congratulations. We're going to brag to Sarah uh, and Abby. Hey, you guys. Oh, look what I did. So, so no, I'm going to say it again. It's, a, it's another jinx thing where you pick a name that has some braggadocia in it. And uh, I tried to talk us out of it, but no, really good heads for trivia. It did not come close to it. Alan, not only did we, did we, Alan, not only did we win, but you get to, you get to, I told you so on the Acadia thing. Oh. That's right. That's right. I think I have an, I told you so somewhere. So Caspian says in astronomers, I'm reading a book that spells the name of the star bagel juice. B yeah, I've read I've read lots of books with typos. B -E -U -X. <laughs> <laughs> that explains it. You think it's a typo? No. But he I makes don't... a point that astronomers spell it various different ways, and this mm. is the way that he is spelling it. So is this right, is this from spelling. Arabic originally? <laughs> Almost all of them are. Yeah, yes. so 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 that's why it's like screwed up because we just don't know how to write it properly. Yeah. Okay, yeah, so it, it, it means something like left armpit of the giant. Mm, okay. Okay, so I need to um, let you know who's next week. I have, oh, um, we have the K's. Oh, it's it's the KKK. Ooh. Oh. Ooh. It's Karen, Carl, and Kevin starting off Robin, and I have no bonus. You want a bonus? Well, how about, let, bonus. Me, let me do the bonus. Hey, <laughs> Wait, you want bonus, Robin? Well, I, I have um, I have an idea going for a regular uh, a category, and I also have an idea going for a bonus. Okay, Adrian, so, so I you got, do you have way. a bonus or do you have? No, I have nothing. Coming? So go for it, Robin. I was just putting my hand up, volunteering. So Robin, go Robin, for you it. want bonus? Well, I can go either way. I, I'm working okay. on a concept for Adrian. You want to do a category? You haven't done one before in a long time. I, I've, I've, yeah, I haven't done anything for a long time. So yeah, I can, I can, do you want me to do a category then? You're short of category? That'd be fun. Okay. okay and I'll do the bonus next week. Right. And thank good. you, James, for coming in and doing one of the, um, the categories. So I have nothing for the following week. Just saying, if you want to, if you're interested. Do I'd a category like, bro. It'd be and then for the, for the following week, I'll do a category because I'm working on a category. Yeah. I have another one ready for that, for that week. That'll be the 29th. Okay, Robin wants me. Jeez, 29th. All right, and you guys can text me if you have another one. Wilma, did I see your hands go up? What was that? Wilma's doing one. Wilma's doing Wilma's one. Do I one. thought I saw out of the corner yeah. of my eye this well, hand go like this. It, but beware, oh they'll, there'll be all questions about Canada. So. <laughs> <laughs> National parks in Canada. Oh my God. <laughs> oh, yeah. We need a strange <laughs> brew category. That was that's, hilarious. That's okay. We did, because... It's okay, Adrian. We did a National Park Canadian tour trip. Oh, they're, aren't they awesome here? Fabulous. But they're I, we no, went up to Jasper and then came down. See you, Jim. 
to there are no, it. And, but there are no I, people up there to go into the parks. That's the problem. It's so, Adrian, a little bit too crazy, though. Good night, everybody. Good night, Gail. It was a fabulous night, night. night everybody. Good night. Good night, night Gail. Threatening to do one about Bob, are you around? I have a chicken question. Sure. Good night, everybody. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Adrian, Good night, everybody. she's going to do a category on Calgary restaurants best restaurants in calgary or something oh, <laughs> i was supposed to go there like a month ago i Maybe like the food best restaurants in calgary oh my so ask, ask bob your chicken question or, or something about uh rodeos i have oh, a rodeo oh, yeah. rodeo we have a we have a rodeo in salinas oh. too <laughs> i i had i had some rodeo hey rob Always. i have something to tell you yes rob I, yeah. my daughter, I had scheduled my daughter to go get a vaccine on this past Tuesday. She's 19. So I was so excited. I was going to get her vaccinated. She had, she was in a car accident on Monday and she's Ooh. okay. Oh no. She's okay. But it was, yeah, she was a driver. It was a, just bad. But anyways, now, and now her dad, cause she lives with her dad. Uh, he's like, I don't think she should get it, and maybe not ever. And I'm like, oh, I, no. I was what? this, oh. I was this close. Why? No. What does that have to do with the car accident? Just delayed it long enough. Yeah. No, it was the act of trying to get her vaccinated that altered the universe that caused uh, her to have the car oh, accident. Oh, we have to right? contact the Time Variance Authority. Uh, yeah, exactly. Well, I could see if she had the accident right after That's, she had the vaccine. Uh, there's a, if variant, she's 19, there's a variant running around. If she's 19. This is not a, an argument between two people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So in Canada, is not 19 and adult. Kid, make your own decision. Yes, she yeah. has. She's able to make up her own mind about it. Yeah. And yeah. I yeah. had her, you know, oh, she was but she lives with dad it. and she wants to keep dad happy. Uh, Do you know my story? No, but I um, can see well, that coming. The way you keep dad happy, happy is you just don't tell him. This is this is kind of how I'd like to do it. But anyway, so she was in an accident on Monday and she was pretty sore and whatnot. So I was thinking I don't want to add a vaccine to that. Um, so I was I was in agreement with waiting, but yeah. So well that's that's a different well, but, situation to wait. I mean, you know, until she's recovered. If you're already feeling you know, miserable, you might as well feel really miserable. Yeah. The upside, the upside to that is that very few nineteen-year-olds are going to have consequences. You know. Yeah. Yeah. She's got she's got a syndrome, so she has heart problems. Oh, okay. oh well, then she should get vaccinated. Yeah. Well, kind right. of boils down to her doctor's uh, recommendation. Yeah. Doctor? Huh? <laughs> oh, no doctor. Aroma. Jeez. No doctor. Yeah, it's doctor. not good. Oh. Well, she had an accident. Did she have to see a doctor afterwards? I took her to ER that day, yeah. And the ER didn't say, oh my gosh, what the fuck's broken? ER Let's give you your ER. Tonight, before no. you leave. No. Oh, while you're here, I have what they should do. You don't go out the back door without the no, vaccination. They don't, no, they, they don't, don't actually they don't stick uh, you and leave a candy on your pillow in the hospital. <laughs> no, no, you have to go to like a big center or whatever you have to have an appointment for these things you can't just get a vaccination oh my god in our in our place here i go to the local farm pharmacy you might call it a chemist there right just to pick up something and as you're leaving the store they go hey you want a shot we have extras today that's what's yep. going on here now yep that's that yeah. happened to me that's, at walgreens we're, we're i not, picked up my prescription and they go here let me stick you or we got a dose that's going to go to waste yeah. we only got 30 minutes left before we close i'm like yeah. okay i know i would love to get mine but we're second dose is like age 70 and up Oh, wow. Okay, so you've had wow. one. I have one, but I'm I'm three weeks. Yeah, I've just, got mine. Just drive across the border and go get stuck. And then quarantine for 14 days when I come back? I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> so you, Anyways, nope. I was like you one day off from getting my daughter vaccinated. So nobody I'm has to off. know. <sighs> She's a yeah. rule follower. Too. Yeah, I mean, oh, man. Quarantine. So it, you got it's, it's interesting how... Um, like, so I work in divorce law and, um, you know, you have parents who are split on these vaccine issues and we can't tell people what to do in my job. But, um, but if I were in private practice, I would say, just take your kid and get your kid vaccinated and don't tell the other parent. Yeah. And, which is basically what I did, right? I booked her yeah. 
Yeah. I mean, I had a discussion with her and, yeah. and she agreed to go get it. It wasn't a, it wasn't an issue for her. So I just booked yeah. it and now this has happened. So because her dad has said something like, don't do it. Well, it's my mother who's the crazy one, right? So oh. she's she's spreading the the, the craziness. Yeah. So you might not have been here when when Wilma told that story, Robin. Uh, yeah, the the, oh. the shedding of the vaccine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. she actually yeah, sent the, notices the to protein. family that yeah. nobody could yeah. visit visit her once they become vaccinated because you're going to get COVID, in, you know, from a person who's been vaccinated. And it's going to spread the disease to other people. And like her own children, we're not yes. allowed to see her anymore if we've got the vaccination. And, and Wilma wow. sent me a copy of what her mom sent her, and it was America's frontline doctors. Look, these are the experts saying this. And Simone Gold, all the people GSOW wrote the Wikipedia articles about. Yeah. <laughs> and you yeah, know, it's been you, fun. You can't tell if someone's been vaccinated. Although, you know, I, I'm one of the few people anymore. I, th I think a number of us here fall into this category, but that we have the smallpox vaccine <laughs> um and yeah. i've often thought about like incorporating that into some like murder mystery where you can tell the age of a person by whether they have that mm. mark because it it was a, just about i was born in 1962 and i have the smallpox mark on my left oh, arm wow. and it was i think my sister doesn't have it she was born in 65 yeah. one of the last yeah, it was one of the last I, I, people. I don't know where mine is. I, 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 got, I got one and I'm from 74. So. Oh, okay. Okay. It's like wow. A, maybe. So my mother I, did I thought, that. I'm not sure when mm. smallpox. And, and why does that, why does that vaccine leave an indelible mark? Because it was know. a little prick. It was like a, a they, circle with a little. They scrape, they scrape it in, scrape the organism yeah, in and it produces a fox. And the what? pock leaves the scar. Oh, and if okay. you had actually had smallpox, you would have had it all over your face and all over your body. Mm -hmm. And instead, you just get it a little sure. pock on your arm. But, when did but they... my kids did not get a smallpox vaccine. Yeah, what, what year? Because, Wilma, you said you're 74? Yes. I was born in 62. I have it. Because I, I was born in 74. And it's funny that it, it was called. I don't see it go. on me. I don't, I don't know where I got it, but I do. Could it fade? Yeah, I can't. I can't see mine anymore, and I know I have. I, I think I used to see it, and I don't see it anymore. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I think me too. I don't think I can see mine anymore. Yeah. So, so the murder mystery is going to be problematic uh, about that. Yeah, I would need a mirror yeah. in the right lighting. Also, the um, the body would need to be pretty fresh, probably, for yeah. that to show up. <laughs> yeah. I, you know. So I don't even know if I have. I don't know. I guess. I, anyway, I uh, have that mark. And mm. you, you probably don't. My kids don't. Yeah, I mean, so oh, did, did anybody else get the fancy uh, Star Trek style hypo spray injection of, of the uh, vaccine back in the mid 70s? I think it was. For what? It what? Swine flu. For what? Swine no, flu. I don't think I've ever had a swine no. flu. No, I never. Oh, it's since 70, 76 was swine flu. Yes. I was pregnant. Mm -hmm. My husband got it and I didn't. Yeah, so that was, uh, I'm actually looking it up on Wikipedia, swine influenza. Let's see if they have a picture of the gun. It was delivered with a large thing that sprayed it into your skin without puncturing you. It was quite bizarre. And uh, yeah. I, yeah, I, I remember that. Yeah. Yeah. And I was like, wow, this is cool. I'll never have to be injected again. And that, then that just went away. I don't know anything about why that is. Maybe it was I never, I did, I did not get a swine flu vaccine. I don't remember getting that. discussed that recently or a few months back. Mm -hmm. um, I think it's not real efficient for, there's a reason that it's not real efficient for some things and that it went by the wayside. I would think that if it's pressurized like that, yeah, you can't control how much actually gets far enough under the skin you know, the intramuscular type of shots where with a needle you can more closely regulate how far you're going in and, you know, how much dose you're getting. Mm -hmm. I don't know. That's just a I thought. I'm looking up hypo spraying. Of course, I get Star Trek. Yeah, you Trek. should. I yeah. get Star Trek. <laughs> uh, let's see. Hypo spray, better known science fiction, jet injector. Ooh. Mm. 
Here we go. Oh my God, Shed Injector. Yes, used for mass vaccinations, 1976 swine flu. Ooh, we'll put the link Why in. Why did they stop? Uh, so I'm gonna read this. I, 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 sense a, I sense a round of trivia coming on from yeah. this research. Medical injection syringe device used for method of drug delivery known as jet injection. Narrow, oh, high see. pressure stream of liquid penetrates the outermost layer of your skin to deliver medication targeting underlying tissues. Yada, yada, yada. Pressure piston. Yeah. Used for mass vaccinations. So I, why did it stop? I think I've seen that gun because, more in sci-fi movies than I have in real life of people <laughs> getting injected. It Look at that gun. Says, that was so cool, though. It's like Star Trek. Yes, like it's a, real. The who, dude, that thing's no awesome. longer recommend jet injectors for vaccine due to risk of disease transmission. Ooh. What? It's, well, oh. spray. Because That's it's a, right. Right. You're, oh, you're, I should, I should stop get recording. puncturing and you get... Yeah. Blue parent problems, splashback, fluid, suck back, 